What's going on? Welcome, welcome. It is Sunday, October 2nd. Can you believe it? I am back in my humble abode, ready for Monty to tell, tell it like it is. Uh, so as I saw someone in chat noticed, um, they made a comment about Belinda, Hater Nation New. Oh, I gotta stop calling her that. Hillbilly uncensored. Uh, she will not be joining me today. She has dealing with an issue with her 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 boyfriend, her man's is, is, and that is more important. I thought about changing the stream uh, to another day, but I already had it scheduled, and I have nothing to do until the eight o'clock uh, football game. So I told Belinda Feller, I said I'll just do this, and then I'm sure there'll be a part two at some point in the future. She will join us for part two. So you will only be getting me today, not the Belinda Feller. I apologize. The good news about that um, is that we can skip over the Monty 101 stuff. We don't have to go through everything from Jack Split to no fap to fapping to fap 2.0. We're going to go right into the topic of today's videos. But we are sending our positive vibes to the Belinda Feller and her man's is. is so please, uh, if you see her on the twatters, feel free to ask her how she's doing. And now he's doing, and uh, we are sending them our bestest, our bestest positive thoughts. Okay, so we are going to, um, we're going to head over, hey, everybody in chat, we're going to head over to um, Monty After Dark, I think the channel, is it Monty After Dark? Yes, Monty After Dark. So sometime before Hurricane Ian, or after my last stream before Hurricane Ian, uh, a channel by the name of Vicky Vibe, some of you may or may or not know her, uh, decided she wanted to cover the Monty stuff, and she did a stream about it, and uh, Monty was not pleased. <laughs> Monty was not happy. <laughs> Monty said, not today. Monty produced a four-part Netflix documentary uh, all about Vicky Vibe's ableism. So, 
So for those of you who don't know, uh, Vicky Vibes was in a little a little tit for tat, a little spat with a certain uh, power couple on YouTube who remain nameless. And Vicky Vibes uh, was there was a lot of crap coming her way. And she kind of lost herself on a live stream and she did some kind of hand movements because she was to get really mad at having her eating disorder and everything else being made fun of. And she reacted, which is why I've learned um, it's not good to go live uh, when you're in the middle of like arguing with people because you're probably going to go live and do something that's going to be twisted and, and turned into insanity. Well, here we are today. Hey, Poltergation, everybody in chat. So um, speaking of Vicky Vibes, hello, Vicky Vibes. So... Um, while I was preparing for the hurricane and getting stuff ready, I kept seeing on Twitter Monty's live about Vicky. I said, okay, fine. And then the next day, Monty's live. I think it was actually two in one day. I don't remember. Monty kept going live about Vicky, and he somehow stretched four hours. I'm sorry. He somehow stretched, my understanding, one clip of Vicky into an award-winning four-part documentary series. So we're going to watch part one of that today, separating fact from fiction with ableist Vicky vibes. Now, like I said, where the ableist thing comes from, uh, dealing with a power couple and things just whatever and she just lost herself and did what she did and half of the power couple took that opportunity to uh, make a video about her calling her an ableist which is just ridiculous considering the half the shit that's come out of their mouths but whatever uh, Vicky kind of ignored it Monty I think was trying to do to Vicky what he tried to do to me unsuccessfully uh, I think he thought well I can discredit Vicky um, with this ableist thing just like he thought he could discredit me with a bunch of bullshit lies about me being a drunk and God knows what else uh, he's being fed behind the scenes so it didn't work either time uh, Monty is back to uh, obsessing over Chantal aka Foodie Beauty uh, as you remember Monty was bored with Foodie Beauty he now uploads like three to five short videos a day I will give him this if he's listening Monty my friend he is no longer going live as soon as Chantal goes live. At least I haven't seen it. He seems to be um, creating just like short videos about like, you know, uh, reading front Chantal's community tab. Uh, Chantal still wants this guy, whatever. Again, as a reminder, my issue with, with him and other people, this also extends to last night's stream too. If you caught me last night on different stream, I don't care if you do reactions. If you react to the same person every day, multiple times a day, that is between you and the reactor. Um, People like to twist it into it's a reaction issue. It's not a reaction issue. If the creator lets you use their content three to four times a day, so be it. It's up to you. Uh, my issue stems from other things that happen. And in Monty's case, uh, really it stemmed from the false striking of channels. I know he's going to say it's not false striking because you can go to court. We can go to court. It's still false striking. It's striking with the intent of intimidating an anonymous creator because you're trying to get their information. Um like with Troll Detective, instead you got a lawyer and now you're making allegedly phone calls to the lawyer. It's a lot. That was my main issue. And then issue number two, there's a lot of talk about the women, uh, about the women with Monty. And, well, these women should, should have known better, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to let the women tell their stories. But what I will say is the women have a right to speak. And issue number two with Monty is how he seems to just make stuff up when he wants to uh, discredit someone speaking about him. Again, I'm a, I'm a drunk, a uh, tiny dancer throws men in prison. Like these are the things that people are forgetting and they're just focusing on, oh, poor Monty. And, you know, uh, he suffered a loss and everyone's ganging up on him. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with Monty's loss. No one's ganging up on him. Monty fucked up. He shouldn't be striking small channels. And uh, there's no reason for him to be making shit up about these women. Let's remember something. Monty's been telling us for weeks. I have all these receipts. I'm going to show everybody about these women. I have all these receipts. And he went right back to Chantal. Fruity booty, fruity booty, fruity booty, fruity booty, fruity booty. So that's the issue. The women, they can handle themselves. Hopefully lessons have been learned. Uh, if you're looking for love, straight men who cover fruity beauty are probably not uh, the kind of man you are you should be looking into or YouTube creators in general. Um, but again, the women can tell their own stories. I'm not here to, to, to deal with that. I've already spoken on it. I just think it's bullshit that he was making up stories about some of these women. Instead of just saying, look, Look, <laughs> I maybe got a lot of attention. It was exciting for me. I handled it wrong, and I'm sorry, and I shouldn't have struck these channels. That would be the end of story. But Monty doubles, triples, quadruples down. So here we are today. So I am curious to see how the hell he stretched Vicky Vibes making a hand gesture in one clip into a four-part series. So that's what we're going to start watching today. Who's excited? I am. 
so excited i just can't hide it i'm like uh Je i'm like uh jesse spano and saved by the bell minus minus the caffeine pills okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh doo -doo -doo. you should see my little friend monty up on screen look at me he's giving me judgy eyes look he's looking at me like gg gg <laughs> he is gg is not i mean he is not happy with me you stupid idiot gg Oop, what happened okay what a fucking idiot. All right. So we're going to go ahead and watch my friends. Uh, am I in the right source? Yes. I have my 1.25 because I don't know how fast he speaks or he's going to speak in this video. I'm not even sure what he's watching because, like I said, the Vicky clips aren't even that long. But whatever. We're going to start at 1.25. I'm going to try to power through this. If I've got to go to 1.5, I will. Let's uh, let's get going. Let me know if you guys can hear, hear him okay. And, uh, yeah, let's start. Hey, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining. Why don't I hear anything? Hold on. I I connected my AirPods. Hello? Uh, was I lied to? They said connected. Clearly, I was. Let's try this again. Hold on. You stupid idiot. GG. I know, Monty. It's not my fault. I, I picked the wrong source, but we're good now. Thank you. All right, let's do this. I mean, usually... I got to go uh, back. I didn't hear what he said. Oh. What the hell is the video? Ah, oh, why did this happen like this? Hold on, guys, sorry. It's not a GG stream unless there's issues, right? There we go. Okay. Hello, Monty. Hey, 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 everybody. Hello. Thanks for joining me. Usually, um, hey, I'm Mukbang and everybody else. not on at this time, but I am on. What are you talking about, Monty? Things, separate some facts from fiction because it seems a lot of people are saying a lot of things. Monty used to be on all the time. God bless his heart for saying I'm usually not on at this time. And I got to clarify. So we're going to start with this uh, Vicky, Vicky Vibes. Vicky, Vicky Vibes, Vibes has been, um, has been doing I guess, live streaming. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot. Remember, I was supposed to get daily voiceover videos about mm -hmm. all of my mean tweets from two years ago. And I haven't seen one of those, but Vicky gets a four-part series. Vicky, I'm jealous of you. What did you do to this man to, to get a four-part award-winning uh, uh, series? Of bullshit that I really need to speak on because a lot of people are saying things because there's a problem with this community. What? And that problem Tell is us. one person says something, the other person takes that as facts and then rolls with it. Oh, you mean how, like, I am a, uh, I'm a drunk, right? Okay, cool. So it's this constant... Rolling with misinformation, really, and then treating it really? as actual fact. Vicky so, Vibes is an ableist. I am a drunk, but you, <laughs> you tell us. Is this guy stupid? <laughs> Let's clarify. Oh my god! Right now, he so, doesn't take any responsibility for anything. It's fucking fascinating. First thing, smash that like button. Is this the Vicky that was a mod for Chantal? No, no it is not the Vicky that was a mod for Chantal. Not. At least I don't believe this is so. Not the same Vicky. What an this idiot! Is a different. This is Vicky vibes. But so Vicky you know vibes. What? let's get straight into it. Thanks for being here, everybody. If you're watching the replay, watch the replay. I appreciate it. I know it's early for uh, most of us, okay. unless you're, you know, in the UK and uh -huh. beyond. And beyond. But in Atlantic, hey, North America, yep. it's just after seven thirty. All right, we love it. Uh yeah, not a lot of people know about Vicky Vibes, but Vicky Vibes. I don't. I don't. Vicky Vibes is a very small channel, growing. Uh, one thousand or two thousand, three thousand subs. Now, what do you have, Vicky? Three thousand. I want to say, hey, Capella, very. I want to say three thousand subs. Um, or am I making that up? I don't know. I feel like you're 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 growing at this point. And um, he got really triggered by Vicky and her her little channel. Um, I I think it's because he had people in his ear uh pointing him at vicky just my opinion don't know much either i thought she was rolling with i probably uh, should Steph, yeah. for a while but what i do know is she likes to be an ableist does she because does she <laughs> she'll talk a lot of shit say a lot of shit but then she'll be an ableist oh and say things like this you got her let's see let's see if we're about to see absolves you of all your sins I love a very dramatic echo in music. How dramatic. Wow. That's it. Case closed. Monty, you've been redeemed. That's it. We don't even have to go further anymore. Vicky Vibes, you're an ableist. Monty, you are a saint among men. I think we could all go home now, right? All right. So I'd like to uh, thank DC for that clip. Of course. Since she likes to talk a lot of shit. Of course. 
But yet, please don't live in a glass house if you're going to throw stones. Uh, yeah, so, that, yes. that, that, applies, so, that applies to you as well, Monty. Okay. Vicky Vibes, the ableist. Vicky Making Vibes, the ableist. People with a disability, but has a lot of shit to say. Anyway. Monty, I'm going to need you to learn something called context, right? Um, people usually don't just do things like that. And again, it was it right? Probably not. I'm sure she regrets it to an extent. Or maybe she doesn't. It's not my my thing to to regret or not regret. But um, I think at this point, you know, uh, people get pushed. Uh, people get pushed. And uh, I've learned that when you're angry, you shouldn't go live. <laughs> you shouldn't go live because then you get really angry and you say stuff that gets taken out of context. So I think that um, if you're going to if you're going to label people alcoholics and ableists, Monty, you probably, like I said, need to get a dictionary and look up the word context so you can see like what comes before. Like people aren't just waking up and scrunching their hands up and and you know uh, pretending to be Quasimodo from the Hunchback in Notre Dame. There's usually a driving factor behind that that pushes the person to that point. Is let's get into it, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna see how much of this I can get through. And um, are we gonna watch the whole video just from a? Uh, just because of one ableist clip, allegedly. See where we go from there. Once again, only doing this because, hey, people are taking what other people are saying as fact and rolling with it, and it's not cool. All right, so let's go. No. I love what, I love when he tries to justify stuff, and his justification makes no sense. I'm only doing this because other people say things, and it's not cool. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello, hello Vicky. I, loud. I feel like I could put these two at 1.5. We're going to see what Vicky sounds like at 1.5. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Oh my gosh, what is going I on? I do not, Bowie. The cake and, the, and this, what is this? Do you pluck you your do eyebrows? They appear really, really sparse. Really <laughs> Someone say his eyebrows appear sparse. Does he know that was a dig? Was that a dig? I think it was, right? If your eyebrows are sparse. Ooh. What happened? All right, that's her. Let's, oh. let's go forward. Oh, Jesus, Siri. Hello. Okay. Okay, Lucky. she's having problems. Honey. Uh, let's see. Thank you for the super chat, Snuffkin. Uh, using ableism as a cudgel? Oh, that's a new word. Is that a new word? I've never heard that. To deflect criticism. He doesn't actually care about disabled people, obviously. Only an issue when he gets heat. Clearly, the people making the video about Vicky also do not care, because if they did, we wouldn't be in a never-ending cycle. Although it's been pretty quiet lately. Fingers crossed. Everyone just lets it lets it go. Uh, but we wouldn't have been in that cycle of back and forth if both parties weren't partaking in said insanity. But thank you again for the super chat stuff. Okay, when are we going to get into have it? I've seen some stuff buzzing around about Monty. I know that you <laughs> are not complaining about someone taking too long to start their video. When you literally, I tried to watch a video of you, Monty, and you literally talked in the chat the whole time and barely said anything about Chantal's video. First, what happened okay. was Garlic Bread. Garlic Bread, I was going to do a stream on him because supposedly he was catfishing people. I never did the Garlic like Bread stuff. And, I don't know if I care enough. Against each other was a whole thing. Yep. I know, Nova. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> um... Hey, JB, I haven't seen you in forever. All right, Vicky regrets absolutely nothing. She stands by what she said about him. I'm sorry if people are offended, but it's, listen, I, I get it. Trust me, I get it. But, you know, like I said, regret or don't regret this context. And I know what was being said in your way. Um, you know, it's just, it's this context. It's people like to throw rocks. And then when you, uh, uh, when you uh, confront them about the rock throwing, they start screaming victim. It's like you can't throw rocks at people if you don't want to have a rock thrown back at you. It's it's not that hard. All right, let me go forward. If you haven't smashed that like button, smash that like button. Why didn't you prepare for this, Monty? You could have had your minutes ready, ready to go. All right, we're going to go forward. trying to like hold it in. I don't know how to do it. be trying to like not have a release. And you guys know me. I'm old. Oh, she's talking about the SR stuff. Okay, let's yeah. go back. What does she even know about that? And how does she know I'm trying to hold it in? What do you know? He'd be trying to like hold oh. it in. Oh, the retention. Like not have a release. And you guys. Has anybody ever thought that what? if I write about no fat, maybe I'm a writer and I don't practice what I write about. Has anybody actually ever thought? That kind of makes you sound like a fraud. Did you really just say that out loud? Like you're pretty much just admitting. Has anybody ever thought about the fact that I literally just look for hot topics to cover? and write on and that I don't actually believe in anything that I'm writing. I'm just hoping it makes me money. Like Monty, why would you even say that out loud? That way that some writers write about things that they don't do, or is it just, is that just me? Uh, Monty, your writings were pretty passionate about it. You have a video, you have writings about it. I know that you were just doing it to jump in a bandwagon because you have admitted it yourself where 2020, no fap was popular. I don't know what 2020 that was. I've never heard of it. 
but apparently it was no pop. It was popular in your 2020. Uh, no fat was popular then. But um, the way you wrote about it and the way you made videos about it, if you weren't practicing it, then you were just, in my opinion, being dishonest and you were pretending to care about it just for views. No, me. Just asking. I'm all about the release. Okay. Hey, Buddha. Hey, honey. Monty is getting creepier by the day. The more that comes Correct, out. Correct, yes, vintage. Yes. Um, so we're going to take it from the start. And then if we have to pick up later, then we'll pick up later. I know spring. It came out of nowhere. And it's messed up. And we need to talk about these red. Ooh, who's defending eggs? I'm not defending eggs. I am clarifying fact from fiction. Nobody defending eggs over here. I am. Um... Is this why he started turning on his, you can't talk in my chat unless you're subbed for five years uh, feature? <laughs> Doing this because people are talking just too much shit red flags because i see y'all and listen there's nothing wrong with like seeing a dude and being like oh i think he's it's crazy how he does <laughs> he doesn't consider what he does about chantal three times a day talking shit like that's like the best part i think about all of this for me you, you know i want to like right, a. <laughs> and i want to like talk to him or whatever and a. online blah, blah, blah. i think it's but i you have to spot these red flags and you have to know when to put your trust in okay somewhere. you know what's a what's a red flag what you know what's a really big red flag what what, what? vicky is when you're enabling it's really effing stupid. <laughs> Is he really going to play this one clip over and over again as the red flag? God, this sounds like somebody else I know who keeps playing a video of me drunk at my birthday party trying to sell a story that I'm a chomo. It's a geez, it's so similar. Uh, that's that's a big red flag when you're doing shit like that, then you want to come off as this righteous person no i don't think vicky's coming off as a righteous person i think vicky's covering covering the drama like that's what we do here monty you cover foodie beauty three four five six times a day i don't know why you seem to think that you could never be covered i know you have people in your ear telling you it's your turn and this is all about your mom blah 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 blah, blah. it's not this is about you falsely copyright striking people it's about you wanting to silence people, uh, women who were telling stories that you didn't want those stories to tell. And then it's about you lying about those women uh, and saying you're going to show us all these receipts and you never show them. Like, this is what it's about. You can scream Vicky's ableism until uh, the cows come home or the lol cows come home. It's not going to change the fact that you fucked up and people have every right to cover your fuck up. It doesn't mean it's personal. It doesn't mean people are trying to ruin your life. It's what people want to talk about, Monty. In case you missed it, drama sells on youtube and you happen to be full of drama at the time um oh oh yes we will get there but that's that's not till later so let's get into we're gonna get into the and then acting like nothing happened exactly beezer like he's caught doing all this stuff and then he's just like he wants to act like i've done nothing wrong it's everyone else's fault and he just wants to go back to normal then he randomly releases an apology video it's just it's insane he shuts comments off for a while it's just i don't, I don't know it's whew troll detective video that started it all and then i watched i was watching all these last Excellent. speaking of have we hit Money how cut. many days is it going to be uh i wish troll detective was in here how many days is it going to be before the uh copyright strike is lift because i don't think we've heard anything else about the lawyer right he he, he played the lawyer for the lawyer voicemails but uh i forget how many days you have to counter or accept a counter before uh youtube finally expires i guess so the, the claim expires and the video shows it back on youtube i feel like that should be any day now Okay, me. You know, you know, you guys saw Nova did a live stream, and Gigi did a live stream That's me. about Monty, and it's just, it's just a mess. He's you stupid idiot, Gigi. Just he's crazy. He's off, That's a off his rocker. Days. Okay. How? Explain how I'm off my rocker. How? And then this lady came out, BBW Veronica. I, really uh, I would, but I have a football game in a little less than two hours to watch. Affiliation is with Monty, but um, we'll get into that. Hey, Selena, Saki. Who's Selena? Someone. Bitty, bitty, like bum, bum. All right, you know what? Let's, let's bitty, go bitty, forward bum, because bum. she's just talking smack. So bitty, 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 so bitty, bum, bum. Bitty, 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 bum. I love me some Alex. It's shook, but honey. Honey. Okay, wait. Melodic. God, huh? even in a video to defend yourself, Monty, you have nothing to say. I mean, come on, Monty. <laughs> and he says, people said when... Monty was talking to Chantel by going orange julep. Okay, they didn't say that when FFG went to the fashion show. No, uh, okay. Yeah, what does that have to do with Vicky? Orange julep, to be honest with you, per day, per day versus per week, per month, per year. It is an attraction. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop acting like you went to orange julep just because. What the hell does orange julep even sell? Is it orange shakes? I don't even know what the hell orange julep sells. Stop acting like you were just bored one day and you were like, you know what? Let me hit up orange julep. 
We all know why you went there. Like, just just own it. There's never a receipt. If you're in Montreal, you need to talk about some show cake and I can't. Okay. Let me check my audio settings because her she audio farts is on the cake and then hilarious. Oh, yeah. the cake farting is the best. I need a fart sound on my soundboard. Um, I can see that being right. a cake, but I know farts are cake. What a waste of uh, what a waste of a cake to be farting on it. She claims she, <laughs> that uh, what's her name? BBW Veronica claims she does not fart on cakes, but I don't know. I haven't watched it, and honestly, please don't send me clips. I don't want to know. Or it's arcing. It's all nice to me, me too. <laughs> like, all right, I'm gonna go so for it. Like I don't, I don't watch regular TV. All right, so which one is How this? How could you beat this? Daytime TV could never. This? All right, this? so this is Troll Detective video. I linked Troll oh, Detective down below. Okay. You guys can go check them out. Yeah. Um, they brought this to the surface. So the common denom no nominator is this Very young girl. Really is this young girl? Why is it okay? So it's a witch hunt when it's about Monty, but when it's Monty going after other people, it's just I guess business as usual. It's B A U. Oh, crazy liar too. Jesus, I haven't changed in so long. All right, so this is a video. This is uh, Theo. Send cake farts. Okay, so this is now where where Monty is going to give the women in his audience the prologue, the preview. Like before you listen to what she has to say, I'm going to tell you all about her first in order to discredit her. I could be wrong, but let's listen. Well, Theo used to be Sagittarius Shadi's roommate. So when you are Sagittarius Shadi's roommate, how happens. the hell does Sagittarius Shadi get into this? <laughs> because people start to troll you. People try to ask you information. People ask you questions all the time. The problem with uh, how do we get to Sagittarius Shadi is Troll Detective decided to use Theo as a way to try and make me look bad. But Theo is a grown woman. Theo is actually in her twenties. Okay. She's not a young girl. Okay. As he's trying to portray, and people. Okay, okay. Say right. things and then other people. Theo was on the farms talking a lot of shit, saying a lot of shit about the farms. And when you talk about the farms, well, then the farms start talking about you. Oh, so I think what you're trying to say in your roundabout Monty way was that you actually don't have any proof that it was Kate Winslet who put that video on the farms because when you start talking about the farms, the farms notices you and they start tracking your every move. Let me, let's play that again. Hold on. And a lot of shit about the farms, other Hold people on. run with it. So Theo was on the farms, yep. talking a lot of shit, saying yep. a lot of shit about the farms. Yep. And when you talk about the farms, well, then the farms start talking about you. Correct. They start to troll you. And that's what happened with this whole Theo disaster. Oh, so when it comes to Theo, there are multiple farmers. But when it comes to you, you know for a fact that it was just Kate Winslet who uploaded that video on the farms. Isn't that amazing how that worked out? What an amazing... Monty, you just... You make things work perfectly for you like you have the best you have the, the all the stars always align when monty needs an excuse but when it's for theo theo you talk about the farms the farms talk about you they troll you you have to get over it okay so once again she was sagittarius shawty's roommate yep. sometime last year for a few months how interesting she, got trolled. she thought it was me end of story stories from the web from the well i didn't realize he's got a sagittarius shawty connection did, did he uh, multiple, did he go live about Sagittarius Shawty multiple times a day too? I did not realize this. I thought Chantal was his only thing. So we're going to go for Youngins, I don't know. What about Youngins? A couple years here on YouTube. So he popped up and then he was also live streaming at the same time. So I went and I said hi. And then I went live on my Instagram. I love Zach Efron. And he Fry. joined the live and I know, was talking, not like tea or anything. Oh yeah, that's the part. That's the part there. She got trolled. She thought I joined her Instagram. I never joined her Instagram. Okay. Was there was no need for me to. Why does she this has, matter? How old is Monty? I wish the farms were still up. I don't know. Oh, how the farms are back, by the way. Dot net. Monty is, but Monty doesn't look as young as I Monty. think Monty's, Monty's like 38. I think someone told me he's 39. Maybe he's 40 now. I forget. She looks pretty young, which I don't know. We don't. Uh... Thanks, Sunshine. See, she has no idea how old Theo is. She has no idea how old I am, but then she's making a stream about me. Can we at least, if you're going to make a stream about somebody, know what people's ages are? Monty, why the fuck do I care how old you are? <laughs> Monty, I don't care if you were 21, 28, 38, 46, 56, or 64. You struck a not you strike anonymous channels to silence them, and then you slander women who come at you with receipts, promise us receipts, and then pretend like it never happened and go back to foodie beauty. Like, why does your age make a difference? If anything, I would say at your age, close to 40, I believe you are, you should know better. And maybe, you know, her, if she's in her early 20s, okay, early 20s, people are still learning, figuring out how to be an adult. But if anything, you should know better. But I don't think Vicky not knowing your age, uh, who gives a flying fart since we're talking about farts? At least. Men with these youngins. I don't know. Just so you guys know that I'm not insane. But she cute. She real One specifically being no fat. We got some there on. <laughs> we got some there on. I don't. You can't see it. 
Okay, so the majority of the video focuses on his relationship with one of his moderators known as Tiny Dancer. And Monty, I don't think, has made a video about Alex, has he? And Monty has actually decided to make three videos about her on his channel, a three-part series on someone who, who doesn't really have the same platform to respond. Right, the girl looks... Uh, yeah, she, Tiny Dancer has a platform to respond, okay? She's using other people's platforms to respond. Like, hold on. Came to my Instagram live. Might be I says the fact that people were trying to say Thea was 17 to 18 and you knew she was young and went after her was disgusting. How am I going after somebody if they're coming into my chat? And I still don't even know what he did to Theo. Actually in their 20s. Although Tiny is not going to just go down like Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, here we go. Wait a second. What did she just say? What did she say? If you don't know the age, then don't talk about it. Don't just start making shit up. That's the problem here. Maybe 19. Although Tiny. Okay, if you don't know, then shut up and don't say anything. Is not going to just I think, I mean, I think uh, she has every right to sit on a live stream and speculate, uh, especially when you have said on many live streams. Uh, let's not forget, Monty, now that the farms are up, we've seen receipts of you posting Strategic Millennial. I think that's what Kay Petty uh, put on Twitter. You were looking up flight itineraries to figure out what flight Chantal was taking somewhere in Canada. I don't know if it was for the court case or for something. Like, you were literally looking up flight itineraries but you have a problem with vicky not knowing somebody's age i mean come on this too much go down like that she has done an interview on another channel called cauliflower so i will post She's that down below along with the control involved. detective video so if you want to hear if they are there i do have a statement from tiny dancer about the ordeal and oh, alex got a statement from tiny dancer we need bro, we need like some uh professional presidential music but she had to say to me well my statement is that monty has slandered me lied about me has made serious false allegations about me and refuses to leave me alone for done. the last eight months and would like for him to fuck off and keep she i what she actually said that because i actually haven't listened to this she actually said i haven't left her alone for the past eight months actually i have left her alone monty can you show us the receipts <laughs> show us the receipts that tiny dancer told you that she has a habit of throwing men in jail when they don't return her affection. And I need to see the receipt that Tiny Dancer had a black boyfriend in Toronto who she threw in jail for abusing her. Because according to Tiny Dancer, none of that ever happened. And Tiny Dancer, you know, released other receipts about the situation. You promised to give us receipts. And then he went back to talking about Foodie Beauty. The, we the people need to see receipts. She's the one who keeps talking to me. Because this whole incident... But you haven't shown us that. Like, like, if you can show us receipts of these things, Monty, it would make a hell of a difference. Like, you need to stop going to the school of loafs, receipt school 101 that loafs is teaching. You need to give us actual receipts. Go on to the, go on, Do they have CVS in Canada? Let's pretend they do. Go to CVS, buy a stick of gum, okay? When you get that massive receipt for that one stick of gum, that's what we need from you. A long receipt showing us that everything you've said about tiny about buddha about god whoever else you've said shit about we need to see we need to see proof of that like it, it's not it's it's not hard it, proof it happened in early midsummer 2021 i left it alone i walked away then come february she comes back and starts saying the same things again i decided to take action i said my piece i left it alone walked away all of a sudden yeah in just Mexico's chat she shows up and starts slandering me again where she's saying that he didn't leave her alone for eight months. I've been walking away every single time. Every single time. Okay. Keep my name out of his mouth. Facts to Rob. Like asking out on and why is he cutting things up like this? No wonder it's confusing to a lot of people. I'm not confused. Because uh, Trolley Deck keeps cutting back and forth between people because they don't want to have their face or their voice on their video. And it's confusing a lot of people. Let me go for it, though. Don't be trying to don't be trying to talk to anybody so that you can for clout. Don't be trying to fucking talk to dudes or women. Agreed. You're like, oh, they have a lot of subs. Agreed. Like, even if you like them on a personal level, fall back because it's the internet. Yep. Is, is that I hope a lot of lessons were learned in this situation. Um, you're not gonna find you're not gonna find what if you're missing something, you're not gonna find it here in Chantal world. It's just not gonna happen. Song. Oh my god, Chalky. Next came out. I just saw a clip of it because all oh, right, I'm in Twitter jail, but next posted like something and he's like going like this it's some awful i mean it was just mo the most awful horrible shit i've ever All right, going forward. <laughs> things get extremely hypocritical okay. i thought that detective left it kind of open-ended you guys can come to your own conclusions right um and then we did go live it is like, comes back records. richard find a kind of hobby just, you know doing what you would do to like grab who's richard dick find a hobby are they called who's richard and she ended up saying who's dick who's dick you can't send a super chat georgia are my super chats not working y'all 
all right we don't see anything here let's go yeah, forward you can you guys can watch these videos if you want to let's go forward yeah, yeah, okay, let's go here fast forward this striking channel which i don't understand the fucking thought process i do thank you so much for the super i do he wants he wants to take the masks off of anonymous channels he wants to make videos unchallenged he wants to make videos without any criticism he wants people to do and say whatever he wants and if anybody challenges him he wants to be able to shut them down and he cannot shut down channels that he doesn't have the information on. He can't. I mean, look, uh, troll detective for allegedly reply with a lawyer. The first thing he did was allegedly call the lawyer, leave a voicemail. Like he wants to know who these people are because, in my opinion, if he knows who you are, he can threaten you into silence. Again, my opinion. For sticker pecan, thank you, boo boo. What she doesn't? What she doesn't understand the thought process? Okay, you know what? I don't understand the thought process to come up here, sit in a high horse, but yet you're gonna do this. There we go. Oh my God, Vicky's Vicky's. This Vicky clip is the new GG 2020. Vicky, this clip's gonna follow you. Only good news is only a couple people are ever gonna use it against you. But like, this is so embarrassing to watch at this point. Like, this is all you have. This is literally all you have, and that's why you have to play it over and over again. It's pretty pretty sad. <laughs> Now, why would you sit on your high horse, say something like that, be ableist, and then come on here and act as if your shit don't stand? Uh, I can't handle um, it. I can't. I don't understand the fucking, fucking thought process idiot. of reactors. Okay. I can't handle like, it. I listen. can't. I If somebody uses... Oh, yeah, vitamin and water. I think it's been three times so far. If everybody wants to keep track of how many times that clip plays, it would be great. Somebody takes your content, right? Uh, exactly, Rob. That's pretty much what it is. A lot of these people are jumping on this for views. Heaven forbid you have a different opinion. And so... Your three videos about foodie beauty today were all the unmonetized, uh, not for profit work. Your, your, I'm pretty sure there's three videos today alone about Chantal Monty. That was all not for profit work. You started a charity. You're doing this all into the goodness of, of your heart. You're not collecting any money. Your American Cash app has been shut down, right? Okay. I, I expect that you no longer have ads on your videos. I, I'm gonna ask in a couple of days if the ads are still there. If they are, I'm gonna be very confused because. Who does YouTube for views? <laughs> that who does like what an odd concept. People doing YouTube for views. Then you're gonna get attacked. And uploads it without any commentary. Uh, you can strike them for that because they are taking your property. Actually, you know what? Let me go for it. I don't want to listen to what an evil uh, Vicky Vibes has to say. Uh, <laughs> this is not abuse shit because it's just really annoying me. Let's go back and forth. I don't want to hear what an ableist like Vicky Vibes has to say about this. Oh Mati, you're so adorable. You can't help it that you suck at Roasting people, so that my problem. But if you're gonna come for someone <laughs> like Monty, really comes for Chantal. Well, how is that not your Twitter name by now, Vic? Uh, the the ableist of Vicky vibes. Then you have to be prepared when somebody else comes for you. Yes. Make no type of sense. Correct. Oh, Vicky's correct. Nova, it's a scare tactic. It is a scare That's tactic. why NATO was going crazy, right? Correct. True, that's I don't. Push. That's a real. You know what that is? A real pussy ass bitch. Ooh. A real pussy ass bitch does some shit. Like I that. bet Monty hates. Hates listening to a woman call her, call him that. Ooh, I'm sure that just mm -mm. hope there aren't a pile of boxes sitting next to him. Give to court. I believe, and I'm not a judge or a fair use lawyer, but I believe that it was transformative. I believe that it was transformative. It's not for him to decide; it's for a judge to decide. Correct. Exactly. At least, at least some truth is being said right now. It's really not up to me to decide what's transformative or what's not. I can argue this transformative. The other person might argue it's not or i can argue it's not transformative the other person might argue it is at the end of the day it's really up to a judge but to you know monty you're not gonna win which is why you only go for anonymous channels because you're not trying to take them to court you're just trying to get their name and i hope that you do piss off the wrong anonymous channel who's ready to come out of the closet and say you know what here's my name here's my address let's go to court because i want to see you shit yourself and i hope you shit yourself on live when it happens decide what is or isn't I'm taking you to court. Transformative. And hey, I can see this, him trying to take down this video. Oh, George, like having so a thing is already happening, and more people are going to voice. Yeah. George, thank you so much. You don't. You really don't have to. I have a cash app. If the super chat's not working for you, it's... Speed it up, Monty. Speed it All up. All right, and furthermore... Furthermore, but, um, I don't have to listen to what this ableist Vicky Vibe says. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. Exactly, Rob. Yeah, loophole... It, it definitely is Texas, and, you know... YouTube really needs to do something about that because it, it is a scare tactic and it's dangerous. It's yeah. really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Voice their opinion. They Talk take better care of their creators. Stuff. I don't and know. Like he didn't really specify. What YouTube's doing is not trying to get into any copyright 
dispute. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do. And and what she's saying is that YouTube should change the process so that way people like you who can give criticism five times a day will stop trying to intimidate anonymous channels who make one or two videos about you. Like that's what she's saying. YouTube needs to find a new way to do this because Callie, I believe, also abused the copyright system for that same purpose. Hello, troll the uh, not troll detective Terry Chaffles, NarcTube. It's interesting that you folks only go for anonymous channels, but you won't go for those of people who have been doxxed. Why is that? Why? Because you know, because you know that the chances are higher that an anonymous channel is going to back off you and because they don't want you to know their name and address. But you know that if you go after a person who's been doxxed, it's just going to make things 20 times worse for you because you're going to lose. And then there's going to be even more videos about you. And you you, you don't want that to happen. Just the United States. By exactly what we would be talking about. He just said he wanted me to come on. And that's when like, I thought it was really weird that he said it like that, almost as if like, that's the reason why he hit me up and like maybe it is i don't know this is a community of 90 to 95 percent women and i can see how someone could take advantage of that like people will come to you with tea and that could turn into something else and people get hurt you just got to be careful because really you don't know who they are yeah but it's like the first thing that you said to me like you had the opportunity uh melodic alchemy um i've gotten nudes and videos and i've politely declined each and every one of them if somebody wants to lie and say i didn't please do but don't block me on instagram before i can make screenshots i have politely declined offers uh from people like it's not hard to say hey I'm not interested or I'm not here for that, but I am flattered. Thank you so much. No, you don't have to send me money. I Thank you, though. I appreciate it. And I've also had bullshit videos made about me, Monty. And guess what I didn't do? I didn't strike the person. The person's anonymous. The person would never uh, counter strike with a name and address because they are terrified of anybody finding their name out. And did I still copyright strike them? No, Monty. I did it. So Melodic Alchemy, okay, we might be assholes, but to say we're less assholes than a false copyright striker and somebody who intimidates uh, 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 channels into silence, I got to disagree with you on that one. No. Like, I just thought that was... No, she never did, Mel B. Thank you, Jesus, and the Latter-day Saints. Okay. Not, no, that <laughs> Y'all, if you have not, if one of my mods could do me a favor, I'll put the link to Belinda's live. Oh, smash that like one for me, everybody. All right, everybody don't forget to that. like the stream. Woo-hoo! It was so fun. We got some people watching right now. Super early in the morning. There's gonna be a lot of other people watching the replay. The least you can do, smash that like button for me. Tell you how much I laughed. Uh, Belinda went live. Well, Hillbilly Uncensored went live with Yaba, and it was so funny. You gotta watch it. No, he did not either, Pinky. Again, thank you, Jesus. All right, wait a second. Although they were in a Discord, I'm pretty sure I've been I've managed to avoid the photo. I don't think I've ever seen the peen. Not that I recall. Do your do do. Oh, they're talking about what I said to um to Theo because she's new on YouTube and I said <laughs> feet pics and cake farts stop it things including do your due diligence watch the entire live stream before you make a video etc 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 anyways let me go forward I already explained oh uh, Monty right here. Ma- she got trolled but- Monty what is the point of this video are you actually going to react to anything she's saying or did you just want a reason to call her an ableist for two hours an hour and a half Online. let's move on I'm going to go 1.75 because I don't know man I guess I just talk way too fast for people hold on I'm gonna do 1.75. I'm gonna see if it's if I can understand it. Okay. Oh, there's me. Woohoo. Um, all right, so he gets into it with this chick who Okay. Exactly. No idea what's going on. Um, Zero. Sorry. Hey Kate. Uh, again, Abdel Fatah Al CC. What the hell is Monty doing with Foodie Beauty's name in all his videos? I mean, nobody here is doing this for free. I mean, I'm not getting rich off of it. I'm making a couple dollars here and a couple dollars there. But are you you're not doing this for free either. I don't understand. I don't, I would. Hey, Deborah. Um, yes, we can. Exactly like that. Exactly like that. Um, All up in it. Blackmail. One piece. Can't get enough. And then the second you're like, what well, you? I don't agree with something you did. They're like, oh, you're awful. Yeah. Um, And he was obviously trying to talk to her. Like, if you get online and you're like, oh, you're cute. Wait a second. How do you know that, though? If you're not there, how do you know that? This is one of the reasons why I stay out of people's relationships. I don't comment when people's relationships stuff goes public. Oh, so you don't, you've never commented on Chantal's relationships? You didn't post those DMs from the big Turk or whatever his name was. Uh, you didn't do any of that. That was that was your cousin uh, Shmonty. Cool, your twin brother. Because I wasn't there. I have no idea what happened. What is happening? What Monty, is- you will comment on anything Chantel puts out there. If Chantal released a video of her literally passing gas for thirty minutes straight, you would turn that into some kind of conspiracy of how 
Chantal is trying to make the hole in the ozone layer larger so that way she can kill uh, uh, other YouTubers so she gets more views. Like, you literally will take anything Chantal does. And you're going to take what I'm saying right now so seriously and be like, you need to prove that I would ever do that. You're not, you're going to miss the point, like all the other points I make. But Monty, stop acting like, stop acting like you're not doing the same shit. Can we just stop? Same behind the scenes. I have zero idea. So I don't comment on this shit because I don't want to look stupid. When new information comes out or old information comes out, so I don't comment on people's relationships or personal matters. I don't have the whole story. I have no idea what's uh, happening. I might have a slice of an idea what's happening, but I don't have the entire pie. Oh, you're awful. Um, oh, pie sounds good. He was obviously trying to talk to her. Like, if you get online and you're like, oh, you're cute. I don't know. At least he was flirting with her. How did she know that? Sure. And I agree. Like, Monty, when... you clearly flirt or or you don't realize you flirt. Like maybe you don't realize, and this is what I'm saying, why you couldn't just be honest in the beginning. Maybe you just don't realize how your conversations come off. Maybe you are naive. Maybe this is new for you. Maybe you just don't realize that you could be leading these women on. And that's all you had to say. <laughs> all you have to say is like, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't, I shouldn't have, I should have maybe been paid more attention or been more aware of what these women were looking for. But instead your response was to slander them. And then when and people talked about it, your response was to silence them. So it's like, that just makes you look guilty. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? It makes you, okay, so I'm going to tell you a story. Before I came on here, I was watching a video about some poker tournament. Um, and uh, there's a scandal where they think the woman won, who won was wearing a ring that would vibrate to tell her when to uh, go all in or whatever. And there's videos of people are analyzing the ring disappears, whatever. After she won, people called her out, particularly the guy who... Um, the guy who was last with her at the table and was like, you're a cheater. And he apparently cornered her was like, you know, why, why was that ring that you were playing with? Why did you take it off? The bet that she made was so ridiculous that even the announcers were like, is she really going all in with those crappy cards? So he accused her of cheating. You know what she did? She gave the money back to the organization to give to him. But she said it's not an admission of guilt. Like that's an admission of guilt, right? That's an admit. The fact that she literally, if, if you know you're innocent of something, you're going to fight and you're going to fight for yourself. You're going to fight for your character. You're going to fight to defend yourself. You don't give the money back and say, well, I'm still innocent, but here's the money back. You don't slander women and say, I wasn't leading them on, but Tiny Dancer throws people in jail. Like, Monty, you got to start putting two and two together the way everybody else has. It doesn't always mean like that. You hey, have a long term relationship. But to say that he didn't want to talk to her at all is not true. Because he's Melodic Alchemy says, Omanti, I got accused of being you last night. Yes, um, a lot of things are going to be flying all over the place. I'll tell you that. A lot of things. Okay. A lot of speculations, a lot of lying, a lot of making shit up. Okay. So, okay, that came out with that girl, but damn. What? Uh, I like Vicky's bookshelf back there. Okay, so then, after that came out, Monty, what? false flag, troll detective. Yep. Not after Kate Winslet. False flag. If your intent is to go in front of a lawyer. Bullshit. Your intent was to to get his and his information. Can we just stop, Monty? Please. Can we stop lying and acting like everybody here is stupid? Your intent was to get troll detectives information. I guarantee you that video will be up in a couple days, and you will never address it again. You will never address the lawsuit, the lawyers. If you do, I'll be shocked. Not a, my my bad. Excuse me. It's not a false flag if it's your intent to go in front of a judge to argue. Something is not transparent. But we know, but we know that you have no intention of doing that because the judge is going to look at you and say, "Mr. Monty, it is transformative. Case dismissed." Or a uh, favor of the uh, would it be the defendant or the plaintiff? Whatever. Who cares? Say false flag. False flag means your intention is not to follow through with what you claim is or isn't um, transformative. So if you're going to go through with it, if you're going to go straight to court, then that is not a false. Well, flag. that we're That's looking forward to your court day with Troll Detective. It better be live streamed. Going through with the process as intended. So I hate when people come up. And talk this stupid shit about false flagging when it's not false flagging. It is false flagging. And then the internet went fucking. It's like, false flagging. Like, that, which I'm kind of glad because it is unfair. Like speaking about you know what wouldn't have been false flagging? Chantal striking your live streams where you sit there and talk to the chat about everything other than what's playing on the screen. That would have been a great copyright strike, and I would have said that's not a false strike. That would have been 100% uh, um, deserved, accurate done correctly strike the control detective has sent me a false counter it's still being looked into you sent a false copyright strike you used a fake name uh, monty you keep talking about how it's legal 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 i have every intention of going in front of the judge if you have every intention of going in front of the judge why did you use a fake nickname for the for the original copyright uh claim if you know it's legal and you're pissed at troll detective for responding back with a lawyer 
why do you get to use a fake name? Just saying. If you don't know about copyright, shut the fuck up. I agree. Like I said, if you watch one of my videos or several of my videos talking about it, we have, um, I've spoken to the lawyer that Troll Detective used. There. You left voicemails allegedly for a lawyer and people are questioning if that actually was a lawyer because listening to it, it just sounds very odd that they call left two, two voicemails and it almost sounds like it was worded. The voicemails were worded in a way to scare Troll Detective, which just... Is really weird. Like, I, I just figured, like, if somebody called the law firm and said, hey, are you representing a YouTube channel? They did a copyright strike. I feel like the answer would be like, no, you have the wrong law firm. We don't have anybody by that name. Thank you very much. Click. But instead, we get a lawyer who goes, no, I have never done that. This is impersonation. This is uh, illegal. This is fraud. Like, you purpose. I don't believe that. I don't believe the email me, Monty. The name of the lawyer. I will not share it. You can look, talk to anybody in this community. My biggest curse is that I don't drop shit when I should. I keep things to the chest. Email me the lawyer's name and phone number, and I will call. And if I can verify your story, that's all I'll say. I called. It was a lawyer. Monty's right. But I don't believe it right now because the voicemail sounded like they were scripted and designed to scare Troll Detective into backing down. My opinion. They've said not once, but not twice, but three times. It's not them. They have nothing to do with it. I would call. And they've complained to Google about it. So we're going to update you. And it. also didn't make any sense. I'm going to complain to Google about it. Like, it just, none of it made sense. Monty, email gainingground80 at gmail.com. I will not share the lawyer's name or phone number, but I would love to call and be like, hello. And listen, if they say to me, yes, we did actually uh, call this gentleman. We left him that voicemail. I'll be the first one to make a video and say, guys, just so you know, on the up and up, real lawyer wasn't his friend wasn't fake and that's it or should i say i'm gonna update you on what's happening with that process it did sound very nice like everybody hold, everyone holds everyone accountable no matter how cool you are with them um and that i appreciate because i want to uh, hold out if i'm doing some fuck shit um okay all right I'm, I'm gonna call you out if you are gonna do something is she gonna do the damn ableist clip again he's gonna do it isn't he um fuck shit as you say Mickey vibes i'm gonna call you out definitely because i'm gonna call you out right now i knew it i knew it oh this is so embarrassing for you monty <laughs> What a fucking idiot. This is so embarrassing. Kate Winslet, what? Yeah, I just called y'all Vicky Vibes. No, you didn't. You just keep playing the same stupid clip. And everybody who saw the clip, even if those who don't agree with the clip or disagree with what she did, we understand what why she did it. We understand about getting point getting pushed to the limit. And it's hard to feel sympathy for the person she's talking about when that person spent months mocking her disabilities, her, her addictions and other problems. So it's like, should she have done that? Probably not. Should I have said some of the shit I've done on Twitter? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, everybody's hands are dirty. Like, can we stop acting like Vicky woke up yesterday? I was like, you know what? I just want to make hand gestures on stream today. I'm bored. It's just come on, Monty. That fuck shit. So let's continue. I've been observing Monty for years now. The red flags are all over the place. And what are people talking about? I've been observing Monty for 1.5 years on the red flags. is all over the place and it will do whatever he needs to do to protect the image. Monty, take Abdel's damn comment off the screen. Trust me. Um, I'm sorry. What? And he will do whatever he needs to do to protect the image of himself. Trust me. I. We've seen it. Like, Monty, you've exhibited that behavior in the last two weeks. Believe you. Hey, Kimster. Never go full um, GG. Yeah, troll detective is uh, fine. I just think no. you know, Actually, you're a reaction. Uh, no, no, troll detective is not fine. Don't send me fake shit. Don't put a lawyer's information in your counter. And then when I verify or verify you're or try to verify, the lawyer has no idea who you are. You're so pissed that they didn't give you a name and address that you could trace them down. You were just it just it just gets your hamster panties in a wad and you cannot handle it. I, I want to call the lawyer, Monty. Please get somebody email Monty. Anybody have a DM? I want to call the lawyer. I will not expose the lawyer's name. I won't do it. Actually, Troll Detective. Troll Detective, if you want to send it to me, if you want to send me what you sent him, I will go. Troll Detective, if you see this, send me what you sent Monty. Because I don't think Monty's going to send it to me. And I'll make the call and I'll keep it. Like I said, I'll keep it to my chest. No one's going to know the name, phone number, nothing. Doesn't matter if you're going by your real name with the lawyer or your moniker. If that is your actual lawyer, your lawyer will be aware of what your moniker is. Your moniker is Troll Detective. It's not your real name, your moniker is Troll Detective, so your lawyer would be aware of what your online handle, your your name is. No, so if you're no, if I wanted to sue somebody, 
um, they, I'd be suing them with my legal name. I wouldn't be like, uh, sue them under the gaining ground. That's not my legal name. Just like the name you use to file the copyright is not your legal name either. Lawyer's not aware, and then your lawyer's saying their firm is not aware of you. Something's going on. Expect people not to react to you. It just doesn't make sense. Hey, Mary. Hey, our lady. I'm not dead. I'm thriving. <laughs> mm hmm oh, Wait a minute. Was, that girl wasn't sad. She's moving. <laughs> Kate. She was. And here we go again. Another round of not knowing what the f you're talking oh God, about. Who cares? You come up and cloud chase and talk shit. Yeah, just, just like you do. With, but these just like you do with Foodie Beauty. Thursday. Let me tell you something. If he's, I'm how, gonna while I'm letting him play. I'm gonna count how many Chantal videos we've seen on stories of the internet today alone. Got all that retention backed up, honey. Ooh. And here she goes speaking about retention again. <laughs> but let me say once again, just because you write about something doesn't mean you actually practice it. Which is you admitting that you will jump on any bandwagon if you think it'll make you a dollar. Uh, so two videos today, eight hours ago, foodie beauty docs is another one. And then six hours ago, foodie beauty still has feelings for whatever his name is. And 21 hours ago, foodie beauty misses him. And we all know it 23 hours ago, foodie beauty lashes out at her beezer. So in the last 24 hours, we've had four Chantal videos, but tell us more about cloud chasing. I understand why people just think because I write about something, I practice it or believe in it. No, I'm a writer. That's what writers do. No. He's like out no. here like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't. Monty Social Blade. I can't. You know what? Let me go forward. I thought this was going to be you addressing... I thought this was going to be you, Monty, addressing claims. And it's literally just you were like, I need a reason to play this Vicky clip over and over again. You should have just uploaded it as its own video. Because <laughs> she's not... Giving us any new Neither are you. Right, so we're gonna go. There's something about Monty episode two from Troll Detective. You know, I never saw episode two. I probably should. Just like me. I never watched it. I should say. Only perfect for you. Listen to your fallback. Your fallback. Monty, you would be the worst lawyer for yourself. Like you don't even defend yourself. You don't say anything. All you do is whenever somebody accuses you of something, you point the finger at somebody else. Like you, like thank God you're not a lawyer. I heard you. Had, I heard you have like 84 jobs though. You're like a marine biologist. You're a mermaid. You're a physicist, you're a chemist, you're a bag boy at Publix, you fly uh, for American Airlines. Like, I hear you have like 74 jobs. Thank God, lawyer is not one of them. <laughs> oh my God. I was trying to ignore it. Slow him down. All right. Damn it. I was hoping nobody would say that. I'll put him back at 1.5. Right, okay, so okay, so we got purple glitter here. You know what? Purple glitter is going through some stuff. Oh, purple glitter. How could I forget about purple glitter? Purple glitter, girl. I don't know what you're doing. Purple glitter made a, a stream where Monty allegedly came in instead of blocking people. Then Monty calls her live and then she releases DMs where they're talking about wedding rings and she said she was done with Monty. Then all of a sudden, her Twitter feed went on private and then she had a stream scheduled with monty to talk about girl world and everybody was like wait a minute you were just telling us all how evil monty is now you haven't you're gonna stream with him and then she canceled that stream and then monty says they're, they're 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 working through issues but now she's saying she's over him again and she feels used mind you this whole time purple glitter is on his jock she's not addressing the other woman what was her name kj <clears throat> hey jack split <laughs> What was her that name, KJ, or whatever the woman's name, who was literally like, we physically dated. I went to the mother's funeral. She was there multiple times. He took her out to dinner. He took her out to movies. He took her out to lunch. He took her everywhere. They met multiple, multiple times. And his response was, we, we were just friends. See, Monty, I don't know if you just maybe don't know how to read a woman. But if you have a woman who's clearly showing interest in you and you take her out to dinner all the time into the movies and you invite her to fly and see you, chances are she thinks it's something more than than – Friendship. And I think you thought that too, but she was just covering your own ass. Someone did ask KJ, uh, what was her name? KJ? Someone's going to say, Kidney J, thank you. Someone did ask Kidney J, were you guys intimate? And she responded with yes. Now, two sides of the story. She could be lying too. But again, it's somebody else who is willing to talk while you are busy calling Vicky Vibes an ableist. Like, this, is so, this was such a stupid video to make, and I'm shocked that there are three more. Make a video with your receipts and explain your side of the story. Like, this does nothing for you. All this does is hurt your cause. So I won't speak on that situation because, you know, I still do think private things should be private. She's going through a lot right now, and um, she's overwhelmed. So let's go forward. Oh, I can't a bet. And, and who have been. Watch this. Why are people so amazed that someone is retaining? Oh, shit. Because I am Doesn't even begin to cover it. Should have known. This is where this was going to go. Should have seen the signs. No worries, Mary. Mary looks sad. Mary, we need to update your PFP. You look way too sad for me. 
I felt comfortable reaching out to him after my falling out with someone else, so I do not want to drag into this. And things are fine. He consoled me. Monty, are, we, are we reacting? What are we doing? Are you defending yourself? What are we doing? Hold on. I to you literally just wanted a reason to, to to trash Vicky, and I can't believe there are four parts. Belinda, you better be here for part two. Hopefully everything goes well with Junior because I'm going to need somebody else for moral support on this one, or maybe I'll see if Vicky wants to do part two with me. I don't know. For the second, or maybe I'll do Vicky and Belinda. We'll just make it a threesome stream. And that's the problem. She's uh, PG keeps listening to streams and getting triggered. They encourage me. All right, let's go forward. Two fucking mortgages pay. Two mortgages pay. Yeah, Would you cross the line and manipulate me in such a way that my dad's manipulate me? Oh, no. That's one of the Kenny J. I'm so sorry, hun. He told me not to talk to you. He told me not. To... He said, "Yeah." Jesus Christ. My first reaction. All right, hold up. I'm reading all this shit. Jesus, he's such a fucking fuck boy. Jack oh, Split, my... you want to come up? God. Okay. <laughs> I'm not actually. I'm not prepared to take a guest right now, but for the next time, I can prepare. You even know that. You took a short clip before talking about Negs and how is it ableism? And it, it how is this ableism? You're talking about. <laughs> somebody's disability and making fun of it that by definition is ableism okay oh never mind uh Jen janine thank you for being awake um, janine let me play the clip again yeah. oh my <laughs> god i can't take it man. it's really i think stupid oh, uh, this is ridiculous monty that right there is the definition of ableism it so she is not allowed to have an opinion on all of your fuck shit that you refuse to provide receipts on she is not allowed to have an opinion on your fuck shit because of a sick a six second clip come on monty matter if i took a short clip on who she's talking about if she's doing stuff like that and making fun of anybody's disability, no matter who it is, it is ableism. What a fucking idiot. Kate Winslet says he was dating the glitter lady and trying to get... Oh, free Kate Winslet, shout out. What, what? He was dating the glitter lady and trying to get free nudes from the girl in his chat for edging purposes, of course. Nudes from the girls in his chat for edging purposes, of course. Once again... Oh, he hates you, Kate. I can't wait to see what he's about to say. Ooh. Just because I read about something doesn't mean I practice it. I, I can't believe you're saying that out loud as if that's a win for you. You're pretty much saying I will talk about anything, even if I have no interest in it, as long as it makes me money. Like how anybody can still take your Chantal video seriously is fascinating because it's clear you don't give a shit about her either. You just know that she brings in views. Why are you even saying that out loud? What a fucking idiot. So, dudes, straight dudes, y'all know that you could just Google boobs. And you, you can. can that shit for damn free. You, can. And you don't have to mm -hmm. be like trying to sneak into some dms like True. smash that like button 143 people watching right now even if you don't like if you put in the work to do the stream you can click the like oh smash that like button on monty this is all uh no oh i'm loving janine also super pretty who's janine how do we get her in this chat i didn't say negs was disabled i said it doesn't matter who is disabled what matters is that you don't make fun of a disability. Her clutching her hands like that is making fun of a disability. Okay, great. You're great. You're right. She shouldn't do that. She should never do it again. Now, when are you going to address the fact that you led women on and when they made that known, your response was to slander and defame them? Like, we're, oh, we got the Vicky thing. We got it. Vicky, don't do that. Vicky, Vicky, don't ever do that again. Problem solved. Now, when are you going to make the video explaining your actions? <laughs> about these women in striking channels. Like, are we gonna get that soon or no? That is the general idea here. Should we play again? Okay, it's I'll really... play again. Here's what she's doing. This is ableism. Oh God. Definitely. It's really effing stupid. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Wow. That right there. That's it. Pack it up, kids. Everybody go home. Monty's been absolved. It's ableism. You're making fun. And the jury finds the defendant not guilty because Vicky Vibes is an ableist. <laughs> of people who have I can't a take disability. It. I can't take That's it. I can't what take an it. What idiot. I can't. Vegan for life, not just for fashion. Well, hello. Hello. Oh. Hello, vegan for life, not just for fashion. I don't feel any sympathy for purple girls. Uh, actually, but I she really was don't engaged to a man that. Mary, she could have made fun of Negs in any other way. Exactly. You could you could make fun of 
anybody in any other way. There's a million ways to make fun of somebody. And he didn't have to make videos dumping food in the garbage can and putting soap on it. So see how everybody's hands are dirty, Monty. Like everybody's hands are dirty. This is not ableism, Monty. This is me showing you my hands. Everybody's hands are dirty, Monty. You look absolutely stupid white knighting for half of the story because you think it's going to somehow absolve you of all the shit you did to these women. It's ridiculous, Monty. You don't need to take it there. You don't need to clutch your hands in that way and then move your body around in that way. Is this guy stupid? I'm not sure. <laughs> because it's extremely offensive. And that's exactly what she was doing. Like, we got it. Uh, we it's ableism. To... <laughs> we got it. That is... We got it. Okay, it's here's how I feel about the situation. Right, it's like, it. if you are someone, like, we don't really know a lot. Of, well, I don't really know a lot about purple glitter, but. BG. Exactly. You don't know a lot about purple glitter. You don't know a lot about me. In fact, you know next to nothing about purple glitter. You know next to nothing about me. In fact, you know less about purple glitter than you know about me. But to be fair. Yet you're talking upon a subject you know nothing about. But to be fair, we are commenting on how you and purple glitter have behaved over the last couple of weeks. I'm sorry. I'm sure purple glitter is a very nice person, but when purple glitter does a stream, saying that, you know, she feels used by you. And then we find out she's in Buddha Betch's DMs trying to get receipts. And then suddenly she goes on lockdown and she's streaming with you. That's suspicious, Monty. And people have a right to call that out. Like you striking people, uh, claiming women, uh, throw men in jail. And then these women start providing receipts and you never respond. That's suspicious. You see how that works, Monty? Suspicion. If you are someone who comes online and you are under the impression that hey, you are to someone that you have never met before... Did she say? Lyra, that's exactly correct. His stream is just watching Vicky's video with his hug box and replaying that stupid six seconds. Correct. I think what he thought he was going to do, I said this at the beginning of the stream, I think he thought he was going to do to Vicky what he tried to do to me. I think he was told, hey, Gigi's so problematic. Just tell your audience that Gigi's a drunk who tweet who mean tweets and it, you'll, you'll suddenly, everybody will forget about it. Backfired. That video he did on me, I think it's like a thousand dislikes and maybe like a couple hundred likes. Backfired. So now I think he moved on to Vicky now. And he's like, well, let me try the same shit with Vicky. But all he has on Vicky is a stupid clip nobody cares about. So, yeah, I, I think that his – instead of dealing with his problems and just apologizing and explaining, Monty just likes to point fingers. Hey, I was engaged to her because this is news to me. I haven't watched any other stuff. Nobody says you were engaged to her, but we did see the DM where she sent you a ring, and you said, do you want it? And she said, yes. So do you want that one or something? Monty, that is leading the witness. <laughs> If a woman, and I'm not even straight and I understand this. Ladies, correct me if I'm wrong. If a woman sends a man an engagement ring and the man says, do you want me to buy you this or do you want me to get you this? That is you saying to her, I am interested in you to the point where one day I'd put a ring on it. Like, Monty, it's not difficult. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies. But if a guy sends you a ring or if you send a guy a ring and the guy says to you, do you want this? How are you going to take that? You're going to take it as, oh, yay, I'm getting married to this little guy in Canada. He was busy with many other things. But this will be news to me. I like this nicely. You are, are they just making and you're doing that while you have other women flying in to hang out with you. And you're telling other women to send you their, their, their snowy tatas. And you're telling other women to send you OnlyFans content to console you in your time of mourning. Monty, when you put all the pieces together, and I'm not saying you're necessarily a bad person. I'm not saying you're malicious or vindictive. It's very possible that you just got overwhelmed and you lost track of it all and you just loved the attention and maybe you didn't handle it properly. You just have to explain that and apologize for it. And you have to apologize to each of these women and apologize for the lies you spread about them as well. It's not difficult. Madam, did she actually say that? Um, vulnerable. Or it was like it looked like an like a normal engagement ring. I saw I saw I saw I saw somebody like post it on Twitter like two weeks ago. It was just like a, a stock photo of a ring. Vulnerable in a way that most people are not, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Kate. So because of that, we need to look Kate. at why you are that why you're so gullible in that way so she already just mentioned in like five minutes her father like things happen things happen in oh i wish yeah I because would. jillian i don't think he honestly doesn't believe he's done anything wrong and, and maybe he really doesn't believe that maybe he thinks so what i gave these ladies attention it's not my fault they read it incorrectly but monty you have to take responsibility you are a content creator these women are dare i say your fans your groupies they love your channel they love you if you're going to talk to them privately, you have to take some responsibility as to how they feel. 
and I'm not sure why you can't do that. It's it's fucking fascinating to me. But she would not speak in her personal life because then people will use that against her. Uh, your life that make you the way you are. Th this is the bottom line. What, is what's the bottom line? Personal people's matters shouldn't be put on the internet because then what the fuck you put people's idiot. personal stuff on the internet? Then it can get messy. No, the bottom line, Monty, is that you should set up boundaries. It, it, it's clear you're going to continue. You're going to continue making videos. You're going to act like none of this happened. Great. Love that for you. I hope that going forward, you set boundaries. Like I had to stop pretty much taking DMs from people because I learned very early on that you just can't be nice to everybody who DMs you because some people DM you with nefarious purposes. And now everybody has to suffer. And I'm like, you know what? I'm in a much better headspace because of it. I do my thing. I talk to people that I kind of grandfathered in. Everybody else, I'm like, you know, thank you for the DM. Much appreciated. But if I start getting so, what did you do today? I'm not engaging. I hope that you have learned that lesson because what you've done is pretty, even if it's inadvertently, pretty serious. And I hope going forward, you start taking these people's feelings into account and understand that you might not see it as flirting, which I think you were flirting. They do. And it gets really messy really fast. Hey, Rob, she said y'all talked about marriage. I did see her post about the ring. I mean, I did... Um, try to not engage with her when she brought up that subject you said do you want me to buy that for you monty monty what are you doing what a fucking idiot we saw the dm you see here you are lying again <laughs> and in all honesty if i felt it was super serious and get going somewhere in time of course i'm gonna get a ring i'm not gonna be like no i'm not gonna get a ring of course i'm gonna get a ring if i think it's serious but the way how she brought up the ring thing very awkward moment. I didn't want to engage with her. You it did engage with her, Monty. She sent you the ring and you said, do you want that one? Or what, what exactly did he say? Can somebody tell me the exact words? I think he said, do you want me to get it for you? Or is that the one you want? You know what you should have said? You should have said, whoa, whoa, I've got to set a boundary here. You're crossing a line. This isn't healthy for you. I'm not interested in you in that way. End of story. But she didn't do that. You said, I'll buy you the ring. And here you are lying to DRob55 or DRob55. Yeah, I thought it was weird and I chose not to engage. But you did engage. <laughs> but, you know, who knows what will happen in time? I think she alluded to it by showing a ring. Yeah, I guess so. No, she didn't allude to it. She, oh. All right, like our experiences shape who we are. So I... I think Vegan for life says, Monty, hope you're okay. And I feel for you with all this rubbish about you on this platform. Sorry, so many people are tone codes. Well, that's just part of the girl verse. I guess people love drama. I think that. Monty. No yeah, responsibility. I think she did. That out. No Especially responsibility. She, she was telling him. He said, do you want it? She said, you'd get it for me. He said, yes. She said, heart. I'm going to put this on screen, Monty, in case you're uh, in case you're watching. Like, this is what you said. Like, Monty, come on. Be honest. <laughs> You knew what she meant by that. Why would you say, if you weren't interested, why would you say that? My father this and my life that. Wait a second. You know what? I really hate this narrative about, you know, women on this platform being weak. There are No, no, no. I know you like to think of yourself as a wordsmith. Defending these women does not mean you think these women are weak. Listen, I've said it before. Ladies... If you're looking for something, you're not going to find it on here. I hope you've all learned a lesson from this situation, right? But you're not going to turn this into, you're acting like all women are weak. No, 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 no. You treated a couple women poorly. You're being called out for it. This is not a moratorium on the state of women around the world. This is not a thesis about how vulnerable women are on YouTube. This is about what you actually did to these women. Like, stop trying to gas up DRob55 and make it look like these people are out here trying to call you ladies stupid. No, nobody's doing that at all. What we're trying to teach you here, Monty, is that you need to learn what responsibility is and you need to understand what a boundary is. And you, as the content creator, it's your responsibility to keep these women at bay. But you didn't do that. You invited them in. You took the compliments. You took the gifts. You promised rings. And now you're like, I hate this narrative that all women are weak. No. The narrative is when you see a weak woman or a woman you perceive as weak, you appear to take advantage of them. My opinion, IMO, sue me if you want. Not oh, weak women on this platform as in. No, no, women on this platform. Are I hear people do this shit when they when they're caught doing something stupid. They try to turn it into a symposium, into a lecture about how everybody. Uh, it's just so terrible, ladies. How you're all being made to look weak. No, that's not what's happening at all, Monty. And it's bullshit. Stop it. A lot of strong 
women. He does think we're there's stupid. Adults on this platform that can make adult decisions. So I hate this narrative as if everybody's weak. Everybody Nobody, doesn't have the not, capabilities and mentalities to make. Uh, no, it's not a narrative. You can an informed adult decision about another person because they can. They can make an informed adult decision about another person, and when they make that informed adult decision, then that's between two adults. No matter what it is, what outcome happens. Okay, so Pink Unicorn, I watched PG so says you were engaged. Kenny J says you were intimate. This mess should stop. Pink Unicorn, really? All these women are saying all of these things, and he's not proving that they're liars. And that's your that's your comments. I it's can't. between two adults. Oh Pink Unicorn says, I watched PG and she said you were engaged. Kenny J said you were intimate. This man should stop. It should stop. Because I wasn't engaged if she actually did say that. It was implied. It was implied that you were ready to buy her a ring. I mean, I had the comments up. Do I have to go find it again? Yeah, thank you, Vegan for Life. Thank you. That's an insult implying we're all damsels in, dis damsels in distress. Well, good news, DRop55. Nobody's implying that at all. So I hope you feel better now. <laughs> And my child to this, and I promise this. Maybe he's like, "Oh, great, exactly, honey. Maybe she's a little broken. I'm gonna take advantage of that." Yes. So I put, I... Nobody's taking advantage. of You nobody. did. If it's all over the internet. No, no. How am I able to take advantage of her? I'm not physically there. Do feel for her for that. Oh, Monty. So you think taking advantage of somebody is only a physical act, Monty? These women were sending you gifts, and you were giving them stern instructions about what carrier to use and what carrier not to use because you live in Canada and some carriers wouldn't get you the gift. Like they were sending you like, hey, I bought you this. And you were like, oh my God, this is so great. Monty, come on. Because sometimes when you're you're that broken inside, you're just reaching out for anything to fill that hole. Yes. Place. And that's when you get these fucking guys yes. that are trying to, or, or women sometimes, yes. that uh, can sniff out that piece of you that is not yes. Cool. Um, and then these men and women who are on this platform in this in this universe who are are missing something or they feel like they're missing something and they look for it in content creators. I, I told you I've gotten them too, but I knew how to handle it. I knew how to draw lines and how to draw my boundaries. Monty, you need to learn how to do that. Why you can't just admit to that? I don't know. They take advantage. Hey, trauma well, hey, some people do take advantage of other people. I'm not going to say that's not true, but don't say it about people or somebody you have no idea about. You weren't there in the situation. You have no idea what's happening. PG is still talking to me. She decided that what she said was, you know, inappropriate. She took the video down. Let's remember, though, you showed up in her live. Allegedly, you were blocking people allegedly with your wrench. And then you called her while she was live, asking her what she's doing and why she's doing it for. And it was very, very intimidating. Because she just... I really don't want to talk much about that whole situation, but she, she, I'm trying to be careful of my words here. She took the video down for a reason. But let's just put it that way. My logic says, and now I hear she hates you again. So it's like, Monty, you just stop talking to women, period. Shut your DMs off. Stop talking to women. Problem solved. Two is that I have been attacked for standing behind Monty. I have the right as a person to say who I believe in. Monty, do not chat outside of YouTube world never have never will exactly well, maybe maybe melodic alchemy maybe that's why you stand behind him so bad because you've never talked to him privately and you've never experienced what these women have experienced so good for you that you were confident enough to not dm monty and not look for him to feel some kind of boy good for you but not every woman is like you some women did and this was their experience so just because it wasn't your experience it doesn't mean it's an invalidated experience it's like a wave either you get behind it or they crush you and other people have spoken out and what do they do they um gather together it's about control and ownership oh, of their Monty, Monty, and rally Monty. against you uh, okay. we saw that what happened with bbw veronica like bbw and veronica and i reported they rally against you monty because you're caught in lies the striking the lies about tiny dancer the lies about me the comments about the lawyer like that's why people are talking about it monty we didn't just wake up because we're bored like let's, I know that's what people are in your ear telling you, that this is all because they're trying to take advantage of you. This is your turn. Blah, 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 blah. No, Monty, you did some stupid shit. Own up to it. Apologize and move on. No, well, we, I wouldn't exactly say we are friends because, you know, friends really means something, you know, specific to me. But look what they did to her. I mean, I couldn't believe the amount of people that would attack somebody for their opinion. Because people are shocked. Now, should people be attacking her? No. But people probably find it shocking to see women who don't talk to you privately dismissing all these women who are coming forward and saying, look, this was my experience. And he, you, never provide receipts to prove otherwise. So yeah, when we see women 
speaking for you and softballing uh, uh, soft you questions, it's going to be shocking and people are going to ask why. And they're going to question the motives. I mean, it's not that hard. On a matter, it's their opinion. And then people will turn around and say, hey, everyone's welcome to their opinion. No matter what your opinion is, you have the right to your opinion. But when you do give your opinion and it's against the grain, then you're just attacked into oblivion. Why are you turning this into an opinion against? The okay. I had a live stream last night. Unpopular opinion, but in case you, in case you, we haven't met high on the gaining ground. I don't care. I will go if I, if, if I think you've done something messed up. I don't care how many subs you have. I'm gonna make a stream about it. I got some backlash because it was an unpopular opinion, but I knew what I was doing. What you've done has nothing to do with opinions. It has to do with the silencing of anonymous channels, and it has to do with slandering women who are trying to tell you that they felt taken advantage by you. This is not a matter of opinion. I have unpopular opinions. You don't just don't know how to create boundaries and, and draw uh, and draw lines and create boundaries between you and your female audience. Two different things. Of these women, not about sex or boobs. Well, he tried to get free nudes, so I was saying. Okay, here's the thing about sending nudes. Tons of people send nudes, even people watching right now. Yep, it's true. Have sent nudes or have gotten nudes. Yep. There's nothing wrong as two adults. No. One sending nudes to another adult. Nothing wrong. Correct. With these were personal conversations. They are now being brought up. They're now being looked at. But but in the receipts that we've seen, Monty, or we've heard, your mom passed away. Is there anything I can do for you? Send me OnlyFans content. What? I'm going to work. Show me your, your breasts. I can't. I'm going to work and it's snowing out. I love snowy breasts. What? You are very assertive. You're very pushy with it. This wasn't – prove us wrong – but this wasn't a, hey, want to see my peen? Sure. Want to see my tetas? Sure. Yay, we're in a relationship sexting. This was you making contracts with people. Hey, uh, you do work for me and I'll join your OnlyFans as payment. Or, hey, um, uh, I feel like I helped you last week. Can I get a photo of your breasts? That's not people sending nudes to each other. That's manipulative. In my opinion, IMO. Snowy there are tatas. Are people who are doing the exact same thing and it's not an issue. Because they're not doing it pressuring. Like I, when people sent me nudes and videos, it wasn't because I was saying, hey, you love watching me, right? Uh-huh. Could you send me, I don't know, a video of your peen? Like I would really appreciate that and it would show me how much you appreciate me. No, I didn't do that. You want to know what I said? Thank you so-and-so, but I'm not interested. Please unsend that. And they unsent it. They apologized and we moved on. I wasn't like nasty about it, but I was like, listen – I think at the time I might have lied and said I was in a relationship because I felt bad. I think I was like, I have a boyfriend or whatever. But um, that's that's what you should have done. But instead, you treated porn <laughs> or, or, or sexy pics, whatever you want to call them, you treated them as currency. You were like the Fred Flintstone of, 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 of the porn industry. Instead of paying for stuff with shells and bedrock, you were trying to get people to pay you in breasts. Like <laughs> Breasts are not currency, Monty. You can get free nudes. You don't have to try and get nudes via For the app. For sure, you Um, I see, Indy. Hey, Leon. Well, that, that makes sense, you know? Funny, melodic. Real funny. Well, I'm sorry. Are we comparing this to Monica and Cl Holy crap. Melodic alchemy. I need you, need you to go outside. Please. All right. Um, should I go forward? No. Because I'm don't think there's any new Fast forward, yeah. Fast She's forward go. Do the Buddha bitch video from Troll Detective, I guess. Then we're gonna get into sunshine and some place. Hashtag breasts are not currencies. Make it happen. <laughs> this is bullshit. That this is this is some bullshit. Breasts right? are not a currency, I guess is what you should say. Here saying I am a marine biologist. When the hell did I say it's I am a marine biologist? I never said that. And that's another thing. People making shit up. Okay, so ladies in the chat, uh Buddha, tiny. Where did the marine biologist come from? He's saying he never said that. I only repeated it because I heard other people saying it. If he never said that, stand corrected. Where Where is that coming from? Is that just a joke? Other people rolling with that information as it's fact. I never once said ever I was a marine biolog biologist. In fact, people in chat are saying, yes, you did. So if anybody can show me that clip. Fact, I think one or two days ago, I had to say, people, I am not a marine biologist. I've never said that. I've said I'm a scientist. But to, to say I'm a marine biologist is so specific. Did he say scientist maybe and people rate it with marine? Did he say like, hey, I'm a scientist and I love pools and people took it as a marine biologist? And absurd. Jackie Hawkins, welcome. Oh, Jackie. Everything is great in the beginning. We have a wonderful time. Oh, the other thing I got to say about this is like, why is she keep talking about me giving 6.5K to look good? I'm like, huh? I, I raised, I helped you raise 6,567 US dollars for her brain injuries. Why the hell would I want raise six point five six seven thousand dollars for me to look good? 
you know what, people? We have 100 and something odd people here, 140 people right now. Uh -huh. Can somebody please raise 6.5K for me so that you can look good? No, Monty, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Let me tell you something about good deeds, okay? When people record their good deeds, I hate it. It really annoys me. Like when I see videos of people doing nice things, I always say, well, it's really nice that they did that. But did you have to film yourself doing it? Like when I have leftovers and I'm walking out of a restaurant, if I see somebody on the side of the road, unfortunate, homeless, whatever, I will be like, hey, do you want this? I don't say, guys, turn the camera on to give them this. So I'm not saying that's why you raised that money. I don't even know what the money is that he's saying he raised, but whatever. I'm not, I don't know. Who, I'm not saying that's why you did it, but that's where people are coming from. Like there are some people out there, Monty, who do charitable things for aspats. I'm not saying you're one of them. I'm not saying that, but that's where the idea comes from. So did, Sid, uh, did somebody mention about uh, the marine biologist or was it just scientist? Because if you know one, two, three, four, five people do that, I'll be great. I'd be very appreciative if uh, somebody could do that for me so that they can look good. That's, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard, but let's continue. At that point, I began she helped him tremendously. Uh, she helped him with advice, ideas, with his videos, on and on. And I didn't think anything of it at first. However, Greg Grebo was the marine biologist, I believe. I have no idea who's the marine biologist. I'm, I'm going to have to ask him. Greta Grebo was the marine biologist? Wasn't that an actress? <laughs> what? It's not me. And I hate when people make this shit up and then other people roll with it. Oh, wait. Oh, does she mean Greg Grebo? Do you do the Oriel, were they talking about you, Greg Grebo? Are you still in chat? I mean, I, you know what? I won't even say without knowing any better because they do know better because there's a lot of people who've been on YouTube for years. They've seen this happen. They should know better. They should do better, but they don't know. You should also do better as well. Or do better because they just want the views. And then shit like this, me being a Marine. Yeah, T-Girl, I'm not saying that he did it with nefarious purposes. Uh, he very well could have done it to help people, which is very admirable using your platform to help people. But I'm just saying like he's... He's shocked that – why would anybody say that? Who does charity to make themselves look good? A lot of people do, Monty. Not saying you do, but a lot of people do. Biologist gets out there, and then I have to constantly tell people, I am not a goddamn marine biologist. Monty, they were saying you were keeping the money for Ray Ray last night on the cauliflower chat. A lot of people are saying a lot of shit. Before, they were saying that my mother didn't pass away. How do we know his mother passed away? How do we know that? I think he's lying. He's faking. I'm oh, uh, I want to address that because I was informed yesterday that somebody was live, and uh, I don't think I was named – um, but that the people going after Monty are now trying to spread a rumor that perhaps his mother didn't pass away. And those people are associated with another person that I happen to know in the community. I've never heard anybody say that. I do not believe that. I would never say that. I think it's gross to even say that out loud. Um, I'd like to know who are these people saying that? Like if it's random trolls in chat, I mean, okay, well, you can't stop that from happening, but, um, this person made it sound like creators were saying that, or those of us making videos. And I have never once in my life, hey, Elaine, said on any of these videos, the thought never even crossed my mind that that was even a possibility. So stop putting what trolls are saying in chats onto creators' shoulders because it's not true. TL Kenny Joe was like, yeah, I was there when his mom died and I was at the funeral. Now, now it's okay. We don't, we don't need to figure out if Monty's mom died because now it's confirmed. People just make up shit all the time. It's just this absurdity. I started, I started to notice certain comments in the live stream. She would make when Monty got flirty with his viewers. So we will touch upon that. Right, Melodic? Listen, you know what? Let me go forward. A uh, bottom yeah, line about going, that is going, modded drama. If you're in a mod group chat and you have an uh, issue with somebody, deal with it yourself. You are an adult. Yep. Okay. If you have any disagreement with another Fast adult, forward. I don't need to come into a mod group chat. Shut up, Kate. <laughs> Fast forward. And um, speak to two adults that should have problems. Come on, come on, come on. That should be a given. If you're an adult, another person is an adult, or two other people, or adults are three, or four, or five, or six, you should all have developed problem-solving skills as an adult. Deal with it yourselves. I have other shit I need to do. Shit just taking care of my mother at that point in time. I don't need to deal with your bullshit in a mod group. But, Monty, oh, God. You really take no, you take no responsibility for this. Like, you don't take responsibility for the fact that you are a creator, Monty. You have the power in the situation. I'm, even if, if you didn't maliciously use your power, fine. But at the end of the day, you have power in the dynamic. You were the powerful one. And you really are just like not understanding that when you are doing YouTube and you're getting a lot of views and you're getting a lot of attention, you have to behave both publicly and privately. And when you don't behave privately, you run the risk of people coming at you with receipts and, and allegations. And you should be able to defend yourself against those allegations easily, but you never do. That's the problem. Because you have an argument with another moderator. But y'all, 
know your worth, okay? Know your worth. You I are agree. completely in control. Yes. You are. So Jet Up says people who think up stuff like that are the people who would do it. That is very true. I don't even know what that Somebody means. you. You can you have two choices. You can flirt. Oops. Back, or you can be like, hell no. Well, that's exactly what I've been saying, Monty. And that's all you have to listen to is you should have said hell no, but you didn't. Well, at least she is telling the truth once. You can flirt back or say hell no. You're an adult. You do what you got to do or don't do. So then why didn't she say hell no? You don't want to do because you're an adult. People don't have the skills. Yeah, I'm beginning to learn people don't have these problem solving skills. I want somebody else to come and fix it, fix their issues when all they can do, simplest thing is just walk away. Uh, Florida, yeah, you you want everyone to just walk away. Uh, no, says, did I miss anything profound? Nope, nothing profound. Um, nothing missed. All right, come on, come on, come on, Monty. People making up lies, and I'm gonna separate the fact from. The I person. haven't heard you separate one lie from anything. The only thing I've heard you address in the hour and a half that I've been doing this is uh, people are saying terrible things that my mom didn't pass away. I don't know who those people are, but that's the only thing you've refuted. I haven't seen you take responsibility for anything you've been called out on. So let's keep on going. I'm going to have to do part two. I'm going to have to do part three. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just the same shit over and over again. Exactly. Grown ass people doing grown ass things. Stop making excuses for them. But it is your choice. So don't let, no matter how many subs, subs don't mean anything, Correct. anything. They mean this much, Correct. nothing. There's no clout in this community. We react to fat ladies. That's it. There's no clout. You're not going to like. I don't get it. Maybe she balls. reacts only to fat ladies, but I react to a lot of other people. Um, Ooh. You react to Chantal. I think your other video, I think I saw you do some Dragon Lord Frodo. You did Tammy Slayton, big person. Uh, maybe that's not all you do, but Monty, your bread and butter is is Chantal. Like we, I went through this last night with another creator. Like I don't care about reactions. If you want to react to the same person 10 times a day, if that creator allows you to do so, that's between you and the creator. I don't care. But what irks me and gets under my skin is the ego that comes along with, oh, yes, I'm a famous YouTuber and I can do what I want and I'm so good and my personality. And there's never any acknowledgement that you are where you are because of their content. Like, you need to just admit that, Monty. That is your bread and butter. And that's okay. If Chantal allows you to do it, knock yourself out and make your money. Some famous freaking Shane Dawson level YouTuber from talking to Monty. Not gonna happen. So please be careful. Pink unicorn. I have to ask, what lesson did you take away from this mess? Your main channel took a hit. Yeah, my channel took a hit. Just not. He hasn't taken one lesson, Pink Unicorn. Not one. What a fucking idiot. Trust people. You know when you're nice, but Look, see? nice. Monty, you weren't too nice. Engagement rings. Flying in to see you. Give me some OnlyFans content. Come on, Monty. <laughs> And you, you know, you help people in so many the ways. The lady on screen speaking is Vicky Vibe. She's another content creator. She's in chat. At least she was anyway. You, you can't even imagine the help I have given a lot of people behind the scenes in terms of Look, being nice. People asking me for money. They want to borrow money from me. And they're in a situation financially. And, and your response is, give me some boobs. Do you see the problem, Monty? If somebody messages me and says, hey, Gigi, I heard you're doing good on YouTube. Can I give you some money? My response would be like, no. <clears throat> no. Now, if they show me a GoFundMe with a legitimate issue, sure, I've donated privately to things. But if somebody's like, hey, uh, I want to buy a new software, could you give me money? My answer is absolutely not. You could get a job, you can make videos, you could earn your money, you could start a GoFundMe for yourself. But you are just like, sure, here's the money. And then, like with Buddha Betch's um, editing program, it came off as very dangly. Like you do shit for people. Anybody watch House of the Dragon this week? <laughs> Anybody watch House of the Dragon this week? I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but last week, last Sunday, if you watched it, when that little finger looking dude did what he did at the end of the episode and Allison is like, I never asked you to do that. And he was like, you kind of did. And now you owe me. That's kind of how this comes off. Like you do things without being asked to do them. But it feels like you're just like, but don't forget, like, don't forget what I've done for you. And we've seen you do it now when these women have problems with you, all the things I do behind the scenes, all the help I've given them. If you're giving them this help to keep them quiet, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Give them, I help them out, not knowing if they're ever going to even pay me back. But you know, that that is just forgotten. Hey, we'll just go with the wave. He throws we'll a favor in their face. That's how I see it, SD, 100%. Just crush Monty. 
because his private life is now in the public. Nobody's trying to crush you, Monty. They're trying to have you take responsibility and just apologize. It's not that difficult. Thank you, Pink Unicorn. That that is the lesson, Shell Bill. I still don't know what the lesson oh, is. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly, that's sweet. Okay, go come on, come on, come on. I don't even know what the lesson is. Where are we? What are we doing? True for dear. You like a dude? Cool. We want to send you a picture and you're a good person. I mean, dude, you should really shouldn't send pictures. Either. I've seen, yeah, exactly. Stop promoting people's channels. You know, when you're nice, you're kind, you try and help people out, promoting their channels as well. That I agree with. Um, uh, I don't mind doing like a shout out here and there, but um, the extent of how shout outs used to be done where I've dealt with people who were giving out shout outs and it was the same thing. Like it was clear that the shout out was given in exchange for loyalty, obedience. And as soon as you go against that person, the shout out gets taken back. Shout outs are not a good time. You shouldn't do them. But again, Monty, I feel like from what I'm hearing and seeing, even your shout outs were meant to, to hold something over their head. Joyce Gray, thank you for the super chat. Love that you cover this messy mess. Come on, girls, stop being simps. Thank you for the super chat, Joyce. I'd leave it up on screen, but then my face wouldn't be here. I got to move my face up so that I can have my super chats on screen longer, but whatever. Anyways, thank you for the super chat. Oops. And Max on me. Yeah, Doriel. People it's always everybody else's fault. It's never Monty's. I mean, saying, hey, um, I don't yeah, have yeah. anybody else yeah. to ask. Yeah. And I help them out. Okay. Vegan for Life says, never borrow or lender be quickest way to lose friends. I found out with a few friends, unfortunately. Yeah, money will ruin friendships most of the time. Because if somebody is in a financial situation where they got to borrow money, most likely they're going to have the to The way Monty up. is sitting here acting like he was just being Rockefeller behind the scenes and just helping everybody out with charity work. But then we hear the ladies talking about in exchange he wanted OnlyFans and breast photos. It's like, Monty, it's not adding up. you got to give us some receipts here. Earn money or don't have the money to pay back, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I will not fart in a cake for you, fat doggy. Oh, is BGTV in here? I knew I got a little bit of a goose bump. That type of situation happens with how our world is set up. Either. But if you know you want it, I don't know. I don't know what your kink is. Do it. Thank you, Chucky. Um, cool. But be very, 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 very careful. Yeah. Subs don't mean anything. True, I don't. In this community. Very true. You ain't you ain't picking up a bag like Shane Dawson. You're not. You're just not. It's just fun. This is just fun, y'all. Smash that like button for me, people. Um, help me out. In the spirit of BGTV, don't forget to like the stream, y'all. What do y'all like the stream? I don't know what he says. Or else. So please do not send your and and also. Don't be sending nobody free links to, to OnlyFans. That's mm -hmm. your work. That's your body. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That is wrong. She has no idea about OnlyFans. Don't say shit like that when you don't have nothing or no idea. She what didn't say about. anything crazy. Why, send free links why? To their OnlyFans. There is a specific reason you have to promote in a certain way. And sometimes you have to send out those free links. That's why the free Stop links it. Are. You are just, you are just creating. Now, for an hour ago, you didn't know what the hell context was. And now you're making up context. She's not talking about. Promoting OnlyFans. She's not talking about uh, like the stream, y'all. Uh, she's not talking about how to get your OnlyFans off the ground. What she's saying is, stop sending people your free OnlyFans in exchange for shit. Like you don't have to feel pressured to give your OnlyFans to a creator just because they ask. Like stop trying to turn this into something. It's not Monty. Come on. So here, Vicky should not be talking shit when she has no. She wasn't talking shit. She's literally giving great advice. Women, you don't have to give your OnlyFans out to people for free to validate your existence. If you have low self esteem, if you're feeling like something is missing, if a guy wants your free OnlyFans link, it's not because he wants to help you. It's not because he wants to make you feel better or fill that void. It's because he wants to fap. Monty, and now that you've admitted you were never on the no fap train anyway. It's clear you weren't just taking these OnlyFans links and videos out of the goodness of your heart. You were fapping. Fapping hard. No idea what she's talking about. Even I know that about OnlyFans. It's a business. You have to promote. You have to cross-promote. Stop it. You, wanna... you think you're a wordsmith and you're not. You are really, really bad at this. Stop the it. The do that is got to send those links out. Um, Sometimes people want to see your content for a specific reason i.e. business, once again, you have to sometimes send those free links out. Oh, Monty. Your, and, and also, don't be sending nobody free links to, to OnlyFans. That's your work. That's your body. You need to collect that coin. Don't be giving dudes free. I've never heard of anybody advertising free OnlyFans anyway, Monty. Whenever people have OnlyFans uh, uh, sales on Twitter, it's always like, um, for this month only, it's 50% off. For this month only, I have never seen one person on Twitter be like, hey, everybody, to promote my OnlyFans, I'm going to show you all my hoo-ha for free. Nobody's doing that, Monty. Come on. 
OnlyFans. No. He's a Britney. He's very manipulative. And he thinks he's good at it, but he's not. Especially not Monty. What do you mean, especially not Monty? What the hell does that mean? It means exactly what she said. Monty, I think maybe the main lesson in all this would be not to mess with these women offline. Money talks and rules just about everything that happens on YouTube, for sure. Hey, Lindsay. Now, if you... now. If you're trying to get with like a BGTV Ooh. type, then maybe uh, give it no. to him up with a free. But Monty? No. Nepotism. How about I disagree with that one? Don't give it to any creator. Even though BGTV voice could make rock hard butter melts in 3.3 seconds, still, like, just be aware of who you never truly know who somebody is on YouTube. You just don't. Somebody might, you might think somebody's super nice and super great and super awesome. You don't know what they're doing when the camera's not on. Like, Guard yourself, guard your privacy, guard your breasts, guard your penises, guard it all. Um, at its best, everybody, nepotism at its best right there. We're not going to go over Sunshine and Sunflower's bullshit. Once again, it says my drama is, I'm not from my drama. Thanks, Jay. Or the cauliflower bullshit. My drama should be resolved with mods. Like I said, they're adults, should have proper coping skills, proper um, de-escalation skills, proper problem solving skills. There's zero reason for me to get involved when two people or more, more than two people are adults. Okay. He's so pissed that he got caught and he's trying to turn this into he's trying to turn this into how to handle conflict on YouTube. You got caught being dirty. Own it. Apologize. Move on. Del, thank you so much for the super chat, Mama. Don't assume all these women are interrelated. Not all are. And yeah, I wanted to do the tiny dance Vicky. Tiny situation, but couldn't because of the backlash and being called racist for uh Hershman's on Cali. I see. Who's this? Okay. Thank Vicky you so vibes. much, Adele. That's Vicky yeah, Vibes. Really That's that. ableist Vicky Vibes. About this. Okay. <clears throat> and you don't. You don't right, know anything so. about this. <clears throat> oh, we got a whiteboard. We have Monty. That, that's the most annoying part of it all. Not doing research. Not doing yeah, yeah, we got a Monty. We got a Monty. Making shit up. Hey, okay, sure. We got a Monty. We got it. We got it. Opinions, okay. if that has fact. Yeah, sure. Taking lies as fact. Marine biologist. Or Tiny Dancer throws men in prison. I mean, lie, right? Again, Monty, prove to me that Tiny Dancer said that to you. I will retract it all. But you haven't. You just, I'm going to have receipts, guys. And then it's a Chantal video. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Then we have Tiny Dancer. Yeah. Who was his mod. I think I'm on right? this whiteboard. Right. I tuned into the stream. I'm pretty sure I show up. Right, melodic. She came out one year ago. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. She came out one year ago um, saying he's a fuck boy. So then these mods, we got three of them. We got Cauliflower. Ellie was never a mod. And we got Get that right. lady no. that's in, I don't know. Monty, you focus on the dumbest details. Mod, no mod, who cares? I'm rural area. We'll call her rural area lady. Who the hell's in rural area? They. Who's rural area lady? I missed it. I was coughing. We're like, F you, tiny dancer, right? The sexually Hold movie. me closer. Back to 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 <laughs> private stuff, private matters should be private. It shouldn't be put online. That's the number one thing. I ain't putting other people's private conversations with me online. It should be kept private, spread it out offline and not online. Monty, have you met the internet? Have you ever been on the internet before? Nothing's private on the internet. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know how I developed this story. Okay. What's up, Sunny Bizzle? Good morning. All right. So, Tiny Dancer came out with these accusations, yeah. the fuckboy accusations, a year ago. Fuckboy. Then Cauliflower and Rural Area Lady. Who's was, Rural Area Lady? Somebody, somebody in chat tell me who that is. I'm missing it. Like, fuck you. We're trying to hide it for Monty, correct? Correct. Trying to hide what from Monty? Oh, such, oh, such and flowers. Got it. I've been down this road with adult male children and them having friendships and the woman reading more into kindness. Exactly. That's Flor de Amal Amopolita. A woman sent him what appears to be an engagement ring. And he said, do you want me to get that for you? I'm paraphrasing. And she said, would you? And he said, yes. Monty, we're not talking, I mean, uh, Flor, we're not talking about kindness here. We're not talking about, hey, I sent you $10 to help buy you lunch because I know you've had a long week dealing with your mom and stuff. We're talking engagement rings <clears throat> and him leading her on to believe that he wanted to buy her one. Are, are, any, are any of you ladies awake? <laughs> can, I, can I offer you a three-hour energy or a five-hour energy, whatever the hell they're called? Because obviously there is something going on in that chat where these ladies are just like la-la fucking land. It's another problem. People reading more into kindness than they should. Right. That engagement ring, Monty. And... They get fucked over by Monty. Monty's like, F you, bitches. <laughs> what, is what does that even mean, F you? It means that you made up a lot of shit about them, specifically Tiny Dancer, and you have not backed up anything you've said. I mean, Monty, it's not hard to keep up. I never said any F you. 
what a fucking idiot. I have no idea who Rural Area Lady is because she... Sunshine and Flowers. She has no idea who Rural, Lady, Rural Area Lady is. She can't remember. So she's just going to put R.A. So now everybody's lost uh, because Vicky Vibes no. didn't do her research. And then they're like, oh, yeah, well, actually, we have stories, too. So then they told their stories. No, actually, yes, they told their stories. And then yeah. that other girl, Ooh. the OnlyFans chick, came out with hers, right? Oh, uh, Buddha bitch. The, the one that's very young. Oh. Who, Facts, who, right, or young. I don't remember. Oh, I mean, Buddha bitch does look young, but I think he said your real age, and I was shocked. But I think she talked about you. Is there another young OnlyFans? Or because Tiny Dancer is one of them, but Tiny Dancer is on the left side. Buddha bitch does look young, but I feel like Buddha bitch revealed her age recently, and I was like, well, damn, okay. Is she keep saying the one that's very young, as in Theo? Theo is not young. She's in her 20s. Does the is... Sagittarius Shawty's ex roommate have an OnlyFans? If so, then yeah, it must be that person. This is the problem with people not doing T Girl research. says you're a liar. You know who it is. <laughs> research saying that they're very... T Girl don't lie. Very young. She's not. She's in her 20s. Do your research. She was Sagittarius Shawty's roommate. What right. does that have to but do with anything? After OnlyFans Girl. <laughs> so then OnlyFans Girl came, yeah. then Buddha, okay. right? Yeah. I am so sorry for day about that. One instance, my middle son allowed a very drunk female friend to sleep on her sofa. She assumed he wanted to date her, and when he didn't, she tried to ruin his life. No, and... no, no. Stop it. Stop. Stop taking. Stop, Floor, stop it. Stop comparing your son's act of kindness with a woman who obviously had mental issues to Monty accepting pornography or, or photos. I, I, I don't know. I say pornography. It sounds crude, but I don't mean it to be crude. If it, if it comes off the way, I apologize. Sending uh, OnlyFans content is probably a better way to say it. Uh, stop comparing that to only, people, women sending him OnlyFans content in exchange for business work. Stop comparing that to him pressuring a woman to show him her snowy tatas. Stop uh, comparing that to him. Uh, what was the other thing he did I had in my head? Oh, uh, talking about engagement rings. Like, stop it, Floor. Stop it. <laughs> I've heard a lot of horrible stories like that. That is very, very unfortunate. Think you yeah, yours is not one of them, Monty, because you led these women on. <laughs> you, I'm sure you've heard a lot of these stories, but I'm sorry to inform you, Mr. Monty, stories of the internet, Minty for Monty, Monty after dark, Monty up the ass, whatever the fourth channel is called. You are not one of those stories. We have, we all have stories, but we can keep it off the internet. Exactly. No, all, everyone no. Has some stories. no, no, not when you're playing so many women, Monty. If you're playing multiple women, it's gonna come out. Like, I understand that you wish it wouldn't because your views are not doing great right now, and now there's your sub count. But you were playing multiple women, Monty, and they all started talking. We gave you the chance to defend yourself, we gave you the chance to show these women were liars. We gave you the chance to prove Kate Winslet put that video on Kiwi Farms. We gave you the chance to prove other shit about Troll Detective. You don't prove anything. You just deflect like you are with Vicky, ableist, the Vicky the ableist, and then you act like we're all stupid. We're not stupid, Monty. We see it. We see you. Sonny Bizzle, things in private should be kept offline. Everyone is an adult. I'm over these women's. And that's not how this works, Sonny Bizzle. Welcome to the internet. Wah, wah, wah. They are in their feelings. Just move exactly, on. Exactly, Leander. He brought it to the internet. Exactly. Who is Vicky Vibes? She's an ableist. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that question. <laughs> she's a, play the clip. Just is she the mod? No, she's not. Uh, she's not. Play the clip. Well, play the clip. I'm involved. She's not the mod from Foodie Beauty. And Kali because she didn't believe Tiny Dancer. So keep keep calling Vicky an ableist. As soon you're gonna hear this shit. I'm taking you to court. Yeah, she go right to court. Right? She didn't believe Tiny Dancer. Why are you talking about it? She did. How does she not know this? They're all on OnlyFans. <laughs> Why is she talking about this stuff if she actually has no idea about what's going on? Like, why would you even say that? And you're just up here talking shit. You, you focus on the dumbest shit, Monty, and you really, you really hope it sticks. I got to give it to you. You are you. You should be a case study at this point. You are very stubborn i guess is the right word like you just don't care like the whole world is crumbling around you and you take you found your little ground and you stand that ground and you are going to continue standing on that ground and you don't care if like all the other ground is gone you will stand on that ground you will not ask for food and water you will starve you will die on that hill without actually knowing what's going on okay <laughs> so then theo is saggy's roommate theo saggy's roommate is last year with that's melodic you know what rio I'm taking you to court. Okay, I mean, hello. And then she's just laughing like it's funny. It's not funny. Do your freaking research. Do your research if you're going to come up and talk about somebody. Because it would be yeah. ridiculous. Uh, tell me more about how I'm a drunk. <laughs> tell, tell me more about me and my empty alcohol bottles, Monty. Come on. Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. For me to go 
on a live stream, start talking about anybody and everybody, and then have exactly done reading. zero research on the subject. And then people in my own chat have to tell me what's going on. But the problem with people in your chat telling you what's going on, some people will give you the incorrect information. And that what is, it's on you. Idiot. You have the onus. Yeah. It's on you to actually know what you're talking about. Cool. So that if people misinform you in your own chat, because I've seen that many times before, you don't get misinformed. Yeah. And then it turns into a shit show. She this reviews. No shit, Abdel. No shit. No shit. If I'm going to sit here and talk about stuff, if I'm going to make $10 on it, I'm going to take it. Monty, none of us is sitting here Salvation Armying this shit. Although even Salvation Army uh, makes money. Nobody is sitting here. Uh, what's what's an end proper? Nobody's sitting here pretending that we're nonprofit organizations uh, doing this all for charity. Like you don't you don't cover Chantal because you are providing a public service. You didn't cover NoFap because you were providing a public service. You jump on shit that makes you money, just like the rest of us do. You're acting like Abdel, and your chat is acting like Vicky and I are going to be able to buy yachts off of this drama. No, it's already dying down. I'm probably going to go through these parts and move on. Until we find out what happens with the Troll Detective video, there's really nothing left to say. The women have all spoken. Your channels are suffering. I just want to see this insanity with Vicky, and then I'm probably going to move on to a new topic until we see what happens with Troll Detective. But we're all here making a dollar. Nobody, Nobody's buying yachts. I probably I probably couldn't even uh, pay – have to take a gas with whatever money I make on this video. But you're you're here for money too, Monty. Like, can, can we not? Because we've seen it happen to Foodie Beauty multiple times where somebody tells her something and she just rolls with it when it's obviously a lie. Corey Coconuts, good morning. Uh, Welcome to the chat. I, he has no self-awareness. Uh, no, we're going to get this right. Uh, I don't understand that. I no, you no, you should be understanding this before you come in live stream. Uh, no fact was only lucrative in 2020, and I'm assuming because everybody was on lockdown. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I would think it'd be fat plus if we were on lockdown, not no fat, because I'm sure our single men and single ladies were fat in 2.0. I don't know why no fat would have been popular in, in, in 2020. I, I would have think that because of the, the apocalypse and the plague. Oh, look at that scary Monty face. He looked like he about to, you know, what he looks like he's saying right there. You stupid idiot, GG. Take a screenshot of that. Hold on. Okay. Um, I don't know why people were no fapping in 2020. I feel like it should have been the opposite. We should have been fapping on each other because we were all losing our minds. But yeah, he just jumps on anything that he thinks could make him a dollar. Which again, I don't hate your hustle for that. But don't sit here judging other people doing the same shit. It's stupid. Before. That's what you should do. Understand it before you come on live stream and you open your mouth. Seasons change, no, girl. Because I want to understand. How does it go? Seasons change, but my love won't change, girl. Yes. And for those of you who are confused, we'll make it correct. Okay. So I'm going to buy you a boat with the money I make on this video, Beast of Beauty. You got it. We have F Boy Monty. Ooh, I think she means fuck boy. F Boy Monty, huh? He blitzed Vicky. Thank you. What a like this. fucking like, idiot. Able she is. Like, oh oh God! <laughs> Not again! <sighs> I'm taking you to court. So Vicky, ridiculous. don't be ableist. It doesn't matter who you're talking about. That, that yeah. is offensive. Don't put your hands like that. Don't make those sounds. Don't do those body. Monty, movements. don't lead women on. Monty, don't copyright anonymous channels to get their information and threaten them with. Monty, don't accept uh, photos of engagement rings that play stupid when the women thought you were interested in them. Monty, don't fly women to your house, take them out to dinner and movies and have sex with them, and then be surprised that they want to have a relationship. What else did I miss? <laughs> I'm sure I missed a people. Monty, don't call people alcoholics just because other people tell you it's so. Did I miss anything else about Monty? I hate Tiffany. Did I cover it all? I think I did. Emotions, that is disgusting. But sitting up here acting as if ain't shit happened. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. She's no longer allowed to have an opinion on anything else because of one video clip, Monty. Okay. Holly is the one who showed Monty's Kiwi bar. Gigi, this is your final warning. I'm suing you. I'm taking you to court. I don't know that I know what that is. Theo. Okay, 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 wait. So exactly. Monty's okay doing his food beauty content when Tiny Dancer comes out with the story. So she's like directly next, right? Did she expect you to run to her side? It felt like she blamed you for what happened. No, I think she just was surprised that somebody who claims to be her friend wasn't around and then has the audacity to be like, why would you think I want to talk to you when you were on a date? Which to me screams jealous, friend-zoned person. Um, and I also think the also disgusting thing was, I'm sorry, your mom passed. Can I do anything for you? Sure. Can I get some OnlyFans content? But sure, Kenzie, Alexis, 
focus on the one tiny little bit in that video that really doesn't even matter. And then when Tiny Dancer comes out with the story, um, Dell says okay, so she did it for views and claimed views and sums mean nothing. It's exactly. not only fans. But people are very, very transparent. And look at her looking at her chat to figure out. Remember the time, Monty, when you said um, Chantal was too boring for you and you couldn't do Chantal anymore? How long did that last? 48 hours? Yeah. Why did you do that? Boredom? It wasn't the money, right? No, it was boredom. Oh, cool. no. What's going on? No reactor, no commentator should ever do this. Do not ever do what? go to your chat. To figure out what's going on your chat should go to you for information not the other way around so now you've written books on how to be a youtuber okay cool okay okay yes you're right Vidal. so the ladies why is she discussing we have that? tiny dancer guys stop looking to your chat for things sir aren't you the one who hired people in your chat to do your work aren't you the one correct me if i'm wrong ladies Aren't you the one who said, I will sign up to your OnlyFans in exchange for you doing my research? Guys, creators, you should not count on your chat to do your research for you. You should not be counting on your female audience members to do your work. You should be doing all the work and giving them the information. Right, Monty? No? Oh, doesn't apply to us only. Okay, got it. I was in Rio. Okay. I wasn't sure because I can't keep track of all this uh, constant contradictions. Theo. Uh, exactly, Mr. Hankey. The one reaction I watched to him, the whole chat was his content. Chantal was lying in bed, living her whatever life. And he was literally engaging with the chat the whole time, not even listening to what Chantal was saying. And people in the chat were talking about a prison, a haunted prison, uh, whether the guy was in jail or not. And he was literally engaging with the chat the whole time. But sure. Your chat should not be telling you what to talk about. Should be the other way around, okay? No, Tampa doll. Allegedly, <laughs> he would say, "I'll pay for your OnlyFans," because you know, oh, what a what a brave what a brave humanitarian and martyr. I am willing to pay to see you naked if you will do research for me. Oh, Monty, you're just <laughs> my hero. <laughs> rural area girl. Okay. Who the hell is rural Sunshine. area girl? This sunshine and flowers, Monty. Try and keep up. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I can't do take no it. Who the hell? I don't, even, the hell I don't even know about. why I'm here who anymore. Is it? Every girl. No, Let's have Sunday Night Football come on. Oh, in about uh, 20 minutes, we'll be done. No idea who that is. I don't even want to speculate on that. Hey, lucky Lola. Because RA, I have no idea who the hell that is. It's sunshine and sunshine. Rumor thought arthritis. <laughs> That's what RA means to me. I don't know. And flowers. Um, you think so is PG? I don't even want to girl speculate. Area girl? It is sunshine and sunflower is the rural area girl. And when she doesn't have any idea, she starts laughing. This you is focus on the dumbest shit. Who cares about the acronyms, Monty? Address the allegations. How funny. This is ignorant. This is what you do not do on streams. This is disgusting, ignorant bullshit. Flowers. Um, the rural area girl. No self-awareness. Monty, what the fuck is wrong with you? Isn't he also the one that said his chat to tell me what it is about Gigi? Because I exactly. He's the one who literally was like, I hear Gigi's a drunk and a problematic person. Can you all tell me what he's done? Which was a stupid thing to say, Monty, because I guarantee you, I would, I would bet $10 that you already received an email full of screenshots, zip files of a bunch of shit that nobody other than a few death fats even care about. So the whole thing was for show. Because you literally were like, I know nothing about him. And then a minute later, he's a drunk and an alcoholic. You were literally repeating stupid insults from two years ago. So you already got the information. But good point. You were asking your chat to do your research for you. So Vicky can't ask her chat questions, but you can. Is it because Vicky's a woman? I, I still stand by in my opinion. I think you have issues with females. That's my opinion. Go ahead, sue me. I'm taking you to court. Imagine going to court for that. What are you in court for? He says I have issues with females. The judge would be like, you need to leave my courtroom now. With you. Right. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, he's see how he snaps like that? What the fuck is wrong with you doing this stupid, ignorant shit? What ignorant shit? Monty. Oh, I love that screenshot. Monty, <laughs> she's doing what you do, except she randomly does it. You, you did, or you did anyway. You were doing it three to five times a day. So... What is this? What is this ignorant shit you're doing? It's what you do. She can't do it? Why? Woman? Is that why? No? Why the hell can't you do your your research? Why can't you do shit properly? 
don't go to your chat and ask them who's who. If your chat knows more than you, then what the hell is the point of your stream? You stupid idiot, GG. Seriously, let me ask this question. If your chat knows more than you, what is the point of coming online and doing a stream? Hours. The, for the same reason you do, Monty. Um, the rural area girl. It's Monty, what the fuck is wrong with you? All right, hold on. Sunshine and flowers. Rural lady is, is sunshine. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. So we got tiny dancer. Holy we got no idea. Yeah, she's actually is not really yeah. directly involved with like a sexual thing uh -huh. or whatever it is of manipulation thing. Yeah. So we have tiny dancer. We have Theo. Okay, it's okay. fine. I'm Theo glad is the Sagittarius. Sh okay, Sagittarius shorty's so roommate, ex roommate. Got it. We can start our tree. So okay. tiny dancer was the first. Yep. Okay. And then from tiny dancer sprung Theo. Okay. I'm gonna go for it because this is love, clearly. I love that for us. I love it's not knowing. It's what clearly what ignorant behavior. Why don't you show she's an ableist again? You're talking about, and I really, really don't want to get into the stupidity okay. of having to constantly correct. Yeah, you don't want to have to relive everything. I get it. Things because it's very clear. Got it. What's happening here? Got it. This is what I got so far. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Exactly, Vicky. So we got fuckboy Monty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does weird shit to Tiny Dancer. She comes out and says the fuck. What do you mean I did weird shit to Tiny Dancer? What the hell does that mean? Tell us more about how Tiny Dancer throws men in jail. Stop making shit up. Then, Tell us more about how Tiny Dancer throws her lovers in prison falsely. Tell us more. You said you had the proof and you were going to show us, Monty. Show it to us. <laughs> From her story, Theo comes out with her story. and like, uh, That's incorrect. Tiny Dancer is in tight. Potato, to potato. Stupid and stupid and completely All right, wrong. now that it's Vicky and him talking again, I'm going to try to 1.75 because I do want to finish this before football. And I think 1.75 is good now because Vicky uh, and I kind of talk the same speed, so I think it'll be fine. Oh, is tied to Sagittarius Shadi. That's what's up. Okay. So Theo is tied to Sagittarius Shadi. They were roommates. Theo has nothing Nobody to do cares. with Tiny Dancer. Nobody, you're why focusing on the wrong shit. This shit up. Well, I already know why. It's for the views. That's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Completely yeah. and utterly wrong. Yeah. What's the point of this video? I'm going to ask you the same question. Uh, Monty's last video. Foodie Beauty still has feelings for Nader. What was the point of that? Was it for views? Cool. And then one year later, Monty doesn't fuck shit and strikes Kate and troll. It wasn't one year later. She doesn't even know her own timeline. Does it there. matter if it's one year or six months, Monty? It comes to this stuff. It wasn't one year later. It hasn't been a year yet for the whole Theo thing. Okay. Because Theo moved December 2020. I mean, all these lists of women, this list of women that grows every day, or seems to grow, and you're still trying to convince the world you're not the problem. Even I know that. There's mm -hmm. even people in this chat knows that. But yet they're not up doing a stream on a mini whiteboard, erasing things and putting shit down and looking at the chat for information and still, still getting it wrong. Detective for well, troll detective for calling him out and Kate for just being so funny. Okay. Right. So then Neurotic. when people are pissed about this, Buddha comes out. Theo is sad. Uh what? Buddha didn't come out because of the whole pissed off about troll detective and Kate Lindsay shit. Like, what is she talking about? This is a mess. I thought Buddha started speaking after the after you struck troll detective. And you started saying all this crazy shit about Tiny Dancer. I thought that's what I thought that's when Buddha decided to tell her story. No, am I wrong? A complete mess. And to think that this video has gotten thousands of views and thousands of people now think one way or another because of this hot mess. Yeah, right hi, here. Uh, Monty, I'd love you to meet uh, Foodie Beauty. Foodie Beauty, Monty. Her making shit up and having no idea what she's talking about. His roommate. And look at her. Look how she's looking. His completely mannerisms. confused right now. Completely confused. Look at the look in her face. Completely confused. Yeah, she, Reference in the chat. She looks so Read confused. <laughs> no idea what she's Bati, talking you about. Bati, you are you are a gem. Look, look, look at her. Look at her face. Saji, his roommate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can you remember that, please? You've been told that several times. Okay. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Wait. Okay. Kate sure. First. Right. Right. Okay. So Kate is number one, right? Here. Jesus. Um. Okay. So Kate's number one. We got it. We got it. Right. <laughs> we're you trying to figure out it. how this all went down. No, you should have figured it out before you did a stream. That's what you should have done. Figure oh, it out yeah. before you did. Uh, tell me more about the gaining ground. Uh, chat, tell me about GG. Tell me about GG. You stupid idiot, GG. I heard he's a drunk. Can somebody tell me more about that? For stream. So we got, okay, guys. Fuckboy Monty. Did weird shit to Tiny Dancer. <laughs> Stop making shit. Up. Tiny a tiny You're a fuckhead. Vicky Vibes, oh, fucking Vicky Vibes, don't know shit you're talking about. Look how I'm mad he gets. God, my acting mm -hmm. is so bad. You didn't so ask angry. But the super chat. Actually, do I know? Do you have a channel? I think you might have a channel. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. We got one tiny dancer. So the person on screen you didn't ask, but I will tell you that is Tina. Tina was one of the first uh, channels to notice something off with both Monty and Garlic Bread. And it uh, turns out Tina was correct in her assessments. But when Tina 
uh, you didn't ask, but I will tell you, made a video about that video about, you know, the straight men in the community and there's something off with them both. He made like a three part series again, <laughs> or two parts. Here. I forgot how many videos he made on, on this Tina woman. And uh, cause that's his thing. Like, Oh, I'm getting criticism time to discredit. So it's with Vicky with uh, Tina. He did a couple on tiny dancer. Like that's just kind of his MO. And to be so, authentic Kali with So you didn't ask what I will tell you. Tiny dancer slash Theo slash two Kali flower with Kiwi farms. Three me calling him out for Buddha purple bitter. Why is Tiny Dancer tied in with Theo? It's like people just don't understand. They don't know each other. The Kiwi Farms. Then me calling him out. Right, Mary? Him out. That, that is a disgusting way to put things. Did oh. shit? What do you mean? I tell me more shit? about me. Tell tell us about me being a drunk again, Monty. Like, I didn't even meet this person. Why am I doing weird shit to them when I didn't meet them? Uh, oh, message. the Chantal crown. Oh, I still have it up there. If Chantal ever gets her shit together and comes back to planet Earth <clears throat> and decides to do healthy mukbangs and lose weight and tell stories about getting gangbanged in a park, I'll totally do a reaction. Just to somebody who's been put on the internet. Flowchart says, Sunny Bizzle, bad idea. This chick and her voice are not actually knowing anything. Exactly, exactly T-Girl. He doesn't address all the lies he said about Tiny Dancer. And he wants to now move on as if he never said them. Like, that's not how this works. Wait, it's completely clear and transparent. Vicky has no idea what she's talking about. Vicky never knows what she's talking about. Stick to going to the bar with Hussy. Go to the bar with Hussy. And Buddha. I'm taking you to court. Then purple glitter. So sunshine, where's sunshine? How can you not know? <sighs> this is so frustrating. And people are what actually a fucking idiot watching this shit. This is just completely ridiculous. Monty, you fire up Chantal streams and you look talk to chat the whole time. You don't even know what she's talking about for two hours, but you're upset that Vicky's trying to work out your web of like uh deceived women. Like that upsets you that she's trying to work out this crazy shit that you did, but you literally will be like, oh guys, we're gonna watch Chantal. And by watching Chantal, I'm gonna collect super chats and I'm gonna tell all you ladies in chat that you're pretty. He's going to go back and forth, back and forth with it over and over and over again. How can you keep up with this shit? I mean, you do Chantal 55 times a day. How do you keep up with it? Seriously. Exactly, Melodic. This, people are watching this Melodic this. has a lot of opinions. Because didn't Kali come out after Sunshine? I'm sorry. Ain't you're no supposed to notice. You're not supposed to ask your audience members. You not. are supposed to be the one. Can somebody in chat tell me more about GG? Can you guys tell me more about that idiot GG? You stupid idiot GG that knows this information. Do not ask your audience no. this information. Don't ask your audience unless you're in binding contracts where they send you their breasts in exchange for research or you're being fed bullshit by other creators and you don't feel like going to the farms and figuring it out for yourself. Cool. You're supposed to do your due diligence, your proper research. Stop asking people. Where's Sunshine? GG. Because didn't Kali come out after Sunshine? You stupid idiot. But thank you so much. Again, uh, you didn't ask that. I love that one so much. GG. Um, thank you, Mary. Hold Appreciate me it. closer. Time. Oh, oh. Uh, Uncut Gems, a.k.a. the Kia Ghost. Ladies, I'm going to call. I'm going to need all y'all to stop with the Disney rings. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Uncut Gems. I want a Disney ring. Listen, if my man ain't proposing to me with a ring pop, he ain't getting a yes. I want a ring pop. Oh, we're almost oh done. Oh my god, there's more people. I love it. Yeah, pod. we might have to go with this, y'all. Nut pods are my favorite. Sunshine is different. All right. Uh, you know what's crazy? You're talking about how she didn't do research on this video. What you should have done, Monty, hear me out. This will require work. You should have watched this video first. You should have cut out the pieces you wanted to respond to. And you should have uploaded it as one of your little avatar videos. We do the funny little faces and stuff. Instead, you went into this video blind. You really offered nothing to it. You didn't have any rebuttals for anything. The only thing you addressed was the situation with your mom, which wasn't even in this video. It came up in chat. Um, but you have the audacity to sit here and say she didn't do any research. Okay. You literally just wanted to fire up a stream for views, but you're bitching that she did the same. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to know who are the women that didn't believe Tiny Dancer. Because Medicare, this is a problem. And this is why I got to clarify things. I didn't, I skimmed through this. I didn't know it was going to be this bad, but this is really bad. Where are the receipts, Monty? Show us the receipts. You keep saying they're coming. Show us the receipts. I already told you, Monty. Give me the lawyer's name. I'll call. I'll verify. Show me the receipts. I will be the first one to make a video about them and let the ladies respond. But you're not giving anybody any of that. You just want us all to take you at your word and move on. And that's not how this works. Would you take Chantal at her word? Would you ever take Foodie Beauty to her word? No. You were literally looking up flight itineraries and posting them on the farms. So you could figure out what airline Chantal was taking to where, go wherever the hell she went. Come on, dude. Very bad if you are going to be doing stuff like this on a live stream. This girl seems like a real solid source of information, right? 
I don't get it. People are acting like you should be in jail for what crime? Women sending news and hanging out with women, I guess. I guess so. When we really boil everything down, Tiny Dancer is the one who tried to warn everyone. What do you mean, warn everybody of what? She was a mod. We got those. She tried to date me. It didn't work out. Move on. I want receipts. That's it. Move on. But she kept on coming back. And she's even doing with Steve McRae right now. Yes, you heard me with Steve McRae. Emp, it is... Thanks, Deb. Nick's powder puff. I'll take shit that has nothing to do with any of this for a thousand. I can't say Alex. What's Blossom's name? Uh, for a thousand, Mayim. What? What is this? Moody. Nick's powder puff Moody. All right, let's just do some deflection. Yeah, nobody's acting like he should be a gel. This chat is very dramatic. I mean, okay. good morning. Good morning. Good What's morning. What's up, Monday Night Football? Tina. Tina, who's that? Oh my god. Tina's the lady who just gave you a super chat, Vicky. I know. She doesn't even know who Tina is. Seriously, you don't know who Tina is. So Tina just sent you a super chat, but yet you don't know who Tina is. God, I hate that we we said something similar, uh, and I have no more water to wash my mouth out. If you don't know who Tina is, when she just sent you a super chat, then please stop making live streams on this. You oh, are... Monty, to be fair, the name isn't Tina on her channel. Like, she just doesn't know. This is one of the first streams Vicky did about it. I also had to learn shit as well, Monty. Come on. You're completely ridiculous. All right. Okay, we have three categories. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Y'all. Y'all. All right, so he did. Okay, we're going to take away. I don't even think that uh, it's a sexual thing, though, now that y'all are explaining this to me. All right, so we have. Sure, we're gonna get this. Wait, someone. It's like the scene from Beauty and the Beast when they all have their pitchforks with fire and go to get the beast. No, melodic. It's nothing like that at all. I just said something. Like, okay, thumbs up. We have three categories. Was a flirt? Was flirt romantic? And here we go, relying on her chat once again. No, nope, relying on the DMs that have been dropped that her chat are referencing. Her chat's not making shit up, Monty. For information. Here we go reading stuff and she doesn't even know if this is true so you're relying on your chat no Sorry. no we've seen the dms monty you've never said the dms were wrong you've never disproven them we've seen the dms and once again can anybody in chat tell me about gg you stupid idiot gg information you have no idea if it's actually true and you're just gonna roll with it okay. people here's here's a uh, drunk alcoholic what was that exactly shut up so, don't ever do this if you're gonna yeah, yeah. do reactions if you're gonna do commentary Please don't ever rely on your chat for information. You oh, have, okay. because when you do, Hold you on. have no idea. I'm going to make this easier for you, Monty. I'm going to have you uh, give this advice to yourself. I think it'll help. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to try to do this where he gets advice. We're going to have him give the advice to himself. Hold on. Can I do that? Oh, wait. It's not going to work. I don't know what I was trying to do, but it sounded really cool. At the point. I was going to have him give himself advice, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Tina, eat the what? Eat the ham. What does that mean? Uncut <laughs> Jeffs. Thank you for the super chat. Tina, meet the ham. I don't know what that means. Thank you for the super chat, though. If it's true or not. You have zero idea. People could be telling you lies. And you have no idea. You're just going to roll with it. That's the worst thing you could ever do because then you just end up in shit. Her best friend is hussy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you know what? I'm going to call it quits for here. Vicky Vibes isn't giving any more information. She's just mixing a whole lot of shit up. And it's just completely ridiculous. So let's end it here. Um, we're going to do her part two. Hopefully I've clarified some stuff. I am not a marine biologist. And I'm not many other things people are accusing me of. Okay. Most of says, how on earth are these going? You know what's crazy? Um, <clears throat> he's stuck on that. He has no interest in defending himself against the engagement ring stuff. He has no interest in defending himself against the stuff he said about Tiny Dancer. He has no interest in, 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 engage, in defending himself against the contracts, against defending himself about asking for, for videos after his mother passed away. He is stuck on the marine biologist bullshit. That, that right there is a red flag. Like, we, we, he's picking and choosing the dumbest shit to be offended by. Like, how... How dare you say I ever said I was a marine biologist? Yeah, well, we also said that you're manipulative, that you use women for their money and gifts. Like, can we address that stuff? No? Okay. Victims of what? Exactly. Victims of what? Grown women making adult decisions. People aren't frail, weak victims that don't have... Well, sometimes women are weak. Sorry. Men as well. Sometimes people are weak. They have weak moments. They are missing something or they feel like they're missing something in their life and they come on the internet to find it, Monty. And it's your responsibility to have recognized that and not give it to them or to guide them in a different direction. Um, some women are that it's just the reality and you handled it wrong. An IQ of anywhere around hundred. These are grown women. <laughs> like you're literally just putting all of the 
you're putting all of the blame on them. And again, with ladies, do better. YouTube is not a dating pool. Guys who watch Chantal all day long are not dateable. They're here for money and nothing else. But you're the one with the power, Monty. You were the one with the, in the position of authority. It was your job to shut it down. It was your job to, 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 to uh, draw boundaries and draw the walls and, and make it very clear what you would and would not accept. But instead, you're talking about engagement rings, gifts, sexy time, snowy tatas. But you want to make it all their faults. You know, like... <sighs> Anyway, let me wrap this up. Smash. It drives me nuts. <laughs> I was like, I thought last night was a lot. Then I cut here and I'm like, God, I forget how bad this is. I think I'm out of here. I'm going to come back maybe tonight or tomorrow morning for another one. So check me out. We're going to review part two and part three. Vicky Vibes. And remember, Vicky Vibes is indeed an ableist. I can't take it. Oh, I can't handle it. Oh. Don't forget, everybody. Vicky Vibes is indeed an ableist. Just remember who is doing what here. Who's at the, okay? Sure. How does this absolve you of your sins? Oh, it doesn't. Because this has been completely ridiculous. This is so stupid, Monty. I feel so like I have so much secondhand embarrassment right now because of this. It's really bad. Yes. Then I'm tired. Anyways, have a good one, everybody, and I'll see you back for part two and part three another time. Oh my God, Becky! <laughs> Look at her butt. It is so big. Guys, I don't even know what just happened. Um, the good news is there's three more parts. Will I make it past part two? Probably not because I feel like two, three, and four are going to be the same shit. But I will react to part two. Uh, I want to go back to NarcTube after this in a couple days. I need like two days off. I'm, I'm like, this weekend was too much streaming. I need like time for myself. I want to go back to NarcTube in a couple days, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And then after that, we'll do part two. Hopefully, Belinda's uh, man is okay. I'm going to actually get a text her after this and, and check in on him and her. Hopefully everything's fine and she can join us. Or maybe Vicky will join us for part two. I think that could be fun if Vicky wants to come on for part two. Um, you know, DM me on Twitter if you're interested, Vicky. We'll, we'll figure it out. But this was awesome. Uh, get therapy. I'm going to need therapy after this stream. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of therapy after this. I'm going to go watch football. I'm going to go enjoy my Sunday night. Get ready for Monday. Shed some tears. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. But, like I said, it's going to be NarcTube stuff. And then we'll hit Monty up again, maybe like towards the end of the week. I might do a recorded reaction sprinkled in there somewhere, like a mukbang compilation. Or I actually found a um, somebody uploaded 80s Halloween commercials. I think it was like 30 minutes of 80s Halloween commercials. I think that'd be really fun to do. Hello, October. So either way, I got shit coming up. I'm, try I'm trying to find more feel-good shit because last night's stream and then this is really like drains me and I just need some time. So we'll do NarcTube again. We'll do this. We'll do stuff in between. Vicky, message me if you want to come on for part two. We'll talk about it. If you if you're friends with um, if you're if you're friends with Twitter on Twitter with Belinda, feel free to reach out to her. See how she's doing. I'm gonna do the same. And yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. I love you. I will see you guys in a couple days. Please have a lovely beginning to your week, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Thank you so much, moderators as well. Thank you for moderating. Totally appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.